Are we live? Can you guys hear me? Hello everyone! Welcome to a live stream! We are live once again. It has been... It's been a while. <laughs> um, but today we are going to be playing... Well, first of all, we're going to be finishing a massive build I've been working on in The Sims 4. Yay, let's go, it's working! Yay, good morning! Hey, James! George, little bit of life, how you doing? What's up? Nah, I'm just gonna put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Welcome! Oh, yes. Mr. Bowser is here. He, uh, as soon as I turned on my computer, he was like, I need to come in and help, so he's here. Um, yeah, we're gonna be playing some Sims first, and then we're gonna swap to City Skylines 2. Thank you so much to City Skylines for sponsoring today's video. Uh, you guys can check it out now in the link in the description down below with my special link. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that, and James might come in and help us a little bit, because he's the City Skylines guru, whereas me, I'm a newbie to that, so I'm looking forward to trying it out. Hello from Wisconsin. Hey! You like the hair? Thank you! Thanks, Wishka. Yeah, I'm loving it shorter, actually. It's, um... A lot of people say, like, don't cut your hair short because it means you have to style it more. And for me, I feel like styling it is more fun. Like, it seems easier because it's like, oh, there's so many things I can do with it. You're gonna slay at cities? Mm, we'll see. We'll see. What's City Skylines? City Skylines 2 is a um, simulation game where you create your own cities and it's really quite detailed in terms of like you have to provide electricity, a waste management and um, water and all of that. It, it's quite complex so we're going to be starting right at the beginning and doing it really simply. Um, but we're gonna start off with some sims first, get into the groove of things, and then dive into it. Hoping for some Bowser snores. I think you're definitely going to get some Bowser snores today. Uh, most definitely. <laughs> He's just settling in. You just wait. Oh my god, I finally caught you live. I actually love you so much. Oh, thanks Chantel. I haven't been live much recently, so... Um, yeah, it's great you could come to this one. His snores are adorable. I'm so glad that people like Bowser's snores, because when he first started snoring in my videos, I'm like, do I have to get him to move? Like, is this really distracting for people? But apparently everyone loves it, so... I mean, I love it too. It's very calming. It's from the UK. Hey, Connor, what's up? Your first live stream? Welcome, Miller. Um, thank you, thank you. All right, well, shall we jump into some Sims? Okay, so I've been working on an, like a LA inspired mansion in Del Sol Valley over here. I actually renovated the original house that was here. Maybe I should show you guys that first so you can see where we began. Hmm. 64 by 64. Yeah, I'll go into another save file um, to show you it first. But it's the one in Del Sol Valley when you first go into the world and it, it's pretty bad. <laughs> I feel bad because I'm pretty sure like, I'm pretty sure I know who built it from the Sims team, but they just forgot a few things. It, it's not that bad. It's just, you know what? I'm digging a bigger hole. I'm just gonna stop. There's no way to, <laughs> I'm just gonna stop there. Oh, happy Halloween! It is Halloween, isn't it? I... Yeah, it's the 31st in Australia. See, we don't ever get trick-or-treaters. Like, Halloween, where we live, is never a very big thing. However, different areas in Australia, like, get really into Halloween. Like, my, um, where my sister lives, she gets so many kids trick-or-treating. Like, she's, she's loading up for tonight. It's just... Yeah, wherever I've lived, there's never trick-or-treaters. In fact, I always buy lollies and I have like a little pumpkin thing that I put the lollies in and I like walk down the driveway and wait for people and James laughs at me because he's like, they're never gonna come. <laughs> and then I eat all the candy. 
All right, so this is the original build. Same, we never really get it here. Yeah, it's so unfair. Oh, I also forgot to let um, the gram know that we're live. Okay, well you guys have a little look at the original house, which I've already started renovating. Whilst I just do this. Also, can you guys hear the music okay? Let me just let the gram know that we are live. Oh my gosh, I haven't done this for so long. It feels like the old, the good old times. Hey guys, just letting you know that I am live right now on YouTube. If you'd like to come join, we're gonna be building a mansion in The Sims, big job. And then we're playing City Skylines 2. Um, so yeah, click the link and I'll see you there. Okay. me oh sorry, sorry i'm sucking on like a lolly thing and james always finds it very irritating and i don't even notice i'm doing it Also, there was this weird thing with YouTube where, greetings from New York, greetings from down under, mate. Um, there was this weird thing that YouTube was doing where I scheduled the time for 10.30 my time. And then it's really weird because YouTube kept saying it was an hour later. And is that because in the US the clocks have changed or something? And were you guys confused? Gigi McGumbo! I don't know how you always make it to these streams. Like, you're so quick, Gigi. <laughs> Gigi McGumbo! Thank you for modding today. Hair is looking fire. Thank you. I'm, I'm loving the hair compliments. Thank you so much. You don't think the clocks have changed yet? Hmm. Well, there's something weird going on with YouTube. So, if you're watching any other streamers who are scheduled to go live, just be aware that... The same thing might happen to them that happened to me where they went live. It's saying they were going live an hour later than what they set the time as. In Switzerland, the clocks change? Well, maybe it's to do with that. I don't know. Hey, Sensational, how you doing? All right, so this is um, the original build. Let's just have a look at it. Um, I guess the, the difficult thing with big builds that ship with a pack is when you're building for a pack to be shipped with The Sims, there's like a performance rating. You have to you have to be under a certain threshold, and that's so that anyone playing, like if they're on a low end computer, they'll still be able to load the lot. Whereas if they make these lots with like heaps of objects and really detailed, especially on the bigger lots, someone on a lower end computer might not be able to handle it. So. Yeah, it's really hard if you have to build a mansion because you can't place too many objects, but there's so much space that you have to fill up with a build. So I totally understand why it's a bit blank. Um, it is hard. But like, it's so strange because in this build, there's like no walls. This is like fully open plan. Um, and it's just, <laughs> it's so strange. Like, imagine walking into this place. You'd be like, whoa, this is a vast room. Uh, this is just a house from The Sims 4 Get Famous that we're renovating. So yeah, they've got their kitchen and everything. There's a pool over here. If you go up another level, you can actually go across to another pool over here. Which is cool. And then this just looks down onto the floor below. And then if you go downstairs here, which how do you even get into here. Wait, how do you... Oh, of course, the staircase that's right here. I... <laughs> Silly me. So you go down this staircase, and this is really cool. There's this awesome safe room, and then there's this enormous bedroom over here. I feel like these bricks look like they should be on the exterior, because they have these details. Um, there's like a cool spa room here, but the bathrooms they forgot to put toilets into them. Oopsie doopsies. Oh, music is too loud? Thank you. I will turn that down. 
How's that? Is that more like background vibe? More space for activities, of course. So that is the original house. All right, so we've all seen that. Also, this pool is very dangerous. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just realized that. You could literally just like fall off the edge. I guess it, it's meant to be an infinity pool, but it's two stories high. So let's check out the build that I've done. Hey from Melvin, hello. Hello. So I was working on this over the weekend. Oh, I love this song. This is our old stream playlist. So if you guys have been to many streams, you might, uh, in the past, you might remember this. Hey Mars, thank you so much for becoming a Judith Ward superstar. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thanks so much, Mars. Um, if you do subscribe on this live stream, you actually get access to a whole bank of members only videos where I share like behind the scenes of creating videos in betweenies, updates and stuff like that. So don't forget if you do become a member, it's not just you're subscribed for the stream, you actually have a backlog of all these videos um, that are just on the channel page. What was the song we made up to this? Oh my God, I can't remember how it went. We had a full song. Such a cute song. All right, so moving into my renovation. Oh my God, I'm so excited to show you guys. Can confirm it's worth becoming a member. Oh, thank you. I can't get over your hair. Oh, thank you. Coffee. Morning, it's coffee time. Thank you so much. Sorry guys, I have to say good, I have to say good morning to Bowser as well. Ah, uh, thank you. Did you want to be on full screen? Hey Bowsy. Aww. <laughs> hey Bowser. Look at the wiggle yeah. wiggle. Yeah. Haven't seen you this morning. Bowser. He's shedding at the moment, so there's little yeah. tufts of hair. It's a big shed. He's working hard on the shed. Mmm, big job. I big... really like, uh, I like the first house better. You like Okay. No, I'm wow. <laughs> I've spent how many hours on this? <laughs> no, this looks really good. Yeah. Good boy. He's such a good boy. So are you. Thank you for the coffee. You're welcome. Mm. How does membership work in regards to money? Um, yeah, it's a monthly thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Mars! Oh, Mars, thank you for gifting gifting five memberships. So some of you guys might have been gifted a membership. So if you did, check out all of those bonus videos. Can we get some love in the chat from Mars? Aw, hey, gifts. <laughs> so, sorry, I'm distracted. Um, this is the renovation of the house. Now, I have filmed renovating this. Oh. So it will eventually be a YouTube video you guys to watch the process of getting to this stage but basically this is the existing shell i've just added different roofing and different bits and bobs and yeah but yeah i'm really excited about it i wanted it to look like a kind of classic la mansion you know the white contrast with the dark wood but you've still got the pool here the pool that was over this side i did take that off because it looked a little it just wasn't for me. And I turned it into a pool house and we've got a lap pool here instead. Anna, welcome to Pancakes. Thank you. Um, and I love, love all of the greenery. So this is what we're gonna be furnishing today. And just as a little tidbit, these, um, these little planters are actually from Get to Work. You might recognize the brown swatch, but they have the best crisp, white swatch because mm. sometimes the whites in the sims are a little dull but those are so good so yeah. annoying that the circle stupid circle things are oh like no the flooring I, glitch the, all the round stuff is so annoying it was when i actually did this it didn't have that so that's a bit of a shame we can always cover it up with landscaping um and then the original pools here so let's go down we have such a big job to do oh my gosh 
So downstairs, there's just so much room. Like we've still got the old uh, vault here and like this little spa area. But I was like, what do I even put down here? There's so much space. So I made this science room, which you would like. Oh! Cause you like get oh, to you work. Did you, you make a Batu room? There's no Batu room. Oh, well you said you have so much space, so. I don't think we need a Batu room right Batoon? now. Batoon. Baboon. Baboons are so cute. <laughs> anyway, so there's a secret door in here, then the original vault. How much does this house cost? Oh, we should look at that in just a sec. So we have that and let me put the, the ceiling up so you can see this gorgeous entrance to the house. I mean, whatever Sim lives here, this is such a big flex because it's like as soon as you walk in the door, they're like shamelessly showing their science lab. So they're clearly very proud of that. Can I give feedback? Uh-oh. Oh, I was just saying, you should change the floor trim so it's not like the default gray. The floor yeah, trim? Yeah, like on the, on the part of the flooring up top. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. I'm just, I, I'm just here to give feedback. No, I know, I know. I said thank you. I know, but it sounded like... It sounds really it awkward. It sounds like I'm going to hear about this later, guys. Oh. No, no, I appreciate it. I do, I do. <laughs> I don't know why it was like, thank you. You're like, please don't embarrass me in front of my live audience, <laughs> sir. Oh, funny. Okay, so in here, this is going to be some kind of cinema room. I've just kind of dumped furniture in here. I'm not sure. Can that's... I get some feedback? What now? <laughs> it's curtains. Yeah, yeah, we'll oh, get okay. to that. Yeah. Definitely. Let's Whoa. zoom around. Wee! And then in here's the original spa. This is really cool. My idea for this whole pool area is to like have exercise equipment around this pool. So over here, I thought we'd put like a weight machine and a treadmill. And that would be pretty sick, like working out next to the water. Um, oh, thanks, Keep Up Hope. So this is gonna be where we put all the exercise equipment. Then when you go in here, this is our spa room, the sauna, the masseuse area, manicure, pedicure area. And then in here, what was I going to put in? Oh, this is going to be a shower and bathroom. Mm, very nice. Do you have any feedback for this room, which I've completely it's bit, finished? It's a bit sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, the, hang on, the stream is lagging a bit. Oh. Can you click on the settings button? On, on OBS. All right, there's just some frame drops and then go to output. Uh, can you change this? We can yeah, click on that. Go to maybe fast or faster. And just click apply. Okay. That might help. And if it does again, just go lower. Sorry guys, that was just a bit of um, frame lag. Bit of la 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 lag. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, that should hopefully help. No oh. toilets though, right? Yes, no toilets. Okay, so let's go upstairs. Oh, railing glitch. Oh, I, that's yeah. happening a lot because they, I don't know, there was a few updates ago they updated it. So if you put a wall next to railing, it cuts it away. But sometimes oh. it just glitches and now there's no railing on some side. Oh yeah, because they got rid of the double railing. Whoa. Yeah. I didn't know the stream is like. Oh. Is it happening actually on the stream as well? Is the stream lagging for you guys? Wait, can you move the camera around a bit? Whoa. Whoa. What the heck? Like, you keep moving it so we can see if it's still, like, lagging. Like, it's move, definitely like, still like, lagging. Move the camera and stuff. Whoa. A bit, yeah, there's some lag. Hmm. Okay, go lower on it, on that setting. But it's the game. I mean, I think it's OBS, not the game. Oh. Yeah, output. <clears throat> just go to, um, uh, just go to fast, just uh... Okay. I'm sorry, you guys. I guess first stream's always a little... A little scuffed. No lag for me, it has just started lagging. Oh. Hey, why is it still doing it? Well, I had this problem the other day. Can you open up Task Manager? Wait, 
Can what? You, can you look up at the sky? Does this house have that stupid aurora borealis on it? <laughs> oh no, it doesn't. Sometimes it, it, that happened in my game because the game glitched and I had this stupid aurora borealis and it bugged the entire game. Oh. Hmm, that's weird. It's only when you zoom, like, it's not so bad now. I think it's when you're up close. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, it is a big lot. But it shouldn't do that to OBS. I, th I don't know. The stream don't lag, it's the game. It was the stream. <sighs> oh well. Uh, it's okay most of the time. <coughs> can you just put this back in front so we can see it? Yes. I'll keep an eye on it. I'll pop it there. And I'll pop this here. <coughs> okay, sorry guys. Yeah, sorry um, guys. Looks fine now on my end. Okay, well we'll just see how we go. So then, oh yeah, up here we have, I'm just gonna stay zoomed out. <laughs> we have the lounge room over this side. Over here is gonna be a dining area. The kitchen will be here, and then you can like walk out to this pool area. They've got two bedrooms, they have their own bathrooms. And then, can I download this house? Yeah, I mean, I can upload it as it is if you guys wanna work on it um, before I finish it or. Yeah, and then this is going to be the big master suite, or main bedroom, and then these are two more bedrooms. So we've got one, two, three, four, five bedrooms in the main house, and will the workout machine face the swimming pool? Might be weird to have a wall of people watching you while swimming. <laughs> I mean, it is a bit weird. We could um, put some curtains in. I mean, it's not a public gym. like. It's. It is your private home. Yeah, like it's like if it was an actual gym and there was a bunch of people running facing you, I guess. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, this isn't a commercial lot. This is a house. I know it looks commercial. And then the sixth sixth bedroom will be in the pool house. And then they've got their own little kitchen out. So that's what we're working with today, folks. But yeah, I'm I'm really happy with how it's looking. Okay. Well, let's get started then. I'm nervous to open another OBS to film the oh, furnishing. No. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, well, hang on, go back into the settings again on OBS. And then go to output and recording. And then scroll down. Oh, wait, go back up. Oh, I guess you can't change this because you can actually change this to just use your stream recording, but mm. you can't do that while you're live, which is kind of annoying. I can actually download the stream after and then you use the footage. It, well, I'll just lay my new oh, face yeah, over just, it. Just do that then, that'll be fine. Yeah, it's all good, guys. We got this. Okay, I'm glad the stream's working better for you guys. So let's uh, get started on this kitchen, or as like, or as we like to call it, the kimchin. Yay! Yay! What do you guys reckon? Gray, black. We want it to be very chic. Maybe just black. Very chic indeed. Well, I suppose I'll head off now and let you do oh. all the sims. Okay, well, you might come back <clears throat> in a little while for when we swap games. Yeah, probably. And probably work with the settings. Yeah. We did test it the other day, so I don't know. I think it's just simple. Sometimes some, like this happened to me in some, when I had like the eco lifestyle effects, it was like really lagging my game, mm. even with a 4090 <laughs> GPU, which is like the, the best you could get. It was really weird. Maybe it's turning into The Sims 3. Oh no. Oh no, it begins. Uh, those cabinets are really low. Oh lord, they are. <laughs> <laughs> You lined it up the wrong way. Because remember, this is the fridge that fits the big cabinet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, I'll still be in chat, but okay. you need me. Just let me know. Oh, actually, the brown's kind of cool as well. Oh. Bye-bye, Bowser. Bye-bye, Maddie. Bye-bye, Jamesy. Sorry, I, I doxed your name. Bye-bye, Deli. Yeah, no one knows my real name. <laughs> Everyone thinks it's Deli. Delicacy. Oh, <laughs> big fan of the brown. The only reason why I wasn't thinking of doing the brown is because I just did a mid-century home with a lot of brown. That's why I was like, mm, maybe we should go to black. But the brown does look fancy schmancy, doesn't it? 
Maybe we should put some of the shelves that came with this in here. Do, do, do. Oh, there's a little snore. It's beginning. Okay. Oh wait, what am I doing? Not get famous. I'm gonna get the new... The new stuff pack. Home Chef Hustle, here we go. Here. Here we go. And then the corner cabinet piece is automatically a shelf. Oops, got the wrong color here. Oh, that's just a shadow glitch. I think it would be cool if EA hired James. That would be very cool, but I don't know if James would want to do that. What? Oh, he heard us speaking well, about well, him. Well, someone was saying, I think it would be cool if EA hired James. And I was like, I don't know if he would really like that though. To do what? To make videos on my own channel like I do now? Um. If they hire me to do what I'm currently doing, I'll do it. You'll do it? If nothing changes for what I'm doing. Hmm. If they just pay oh. me more money to do exactly what I'm doing. It's a shame these uh, cabinets don't automatically line up with the shelving, hmm. like underneath. Hmm. Just Does noticed it... that. Interesting. So we'd have to maybe... Eh, concentrating. That's gonna be so annoying. Wait, so these don't while. even... Oh man. Oh well, let's just do the shelves underneath. Like that. Can you guys still hear the jazzy music? It's like perfect for me. Perfect jazzy background music. Why isn't he with you? Well, no, he's not employed by you. Like, legally, you can't have, like, every video sponsored without disclosing it. Yeah, I imagine there's a guy off camera playing the piano. I love that. Oh, I love that so much. Okay. What are we... I feel like this just looks a little strange. I just, I just don't know. I almost wish, like, part of me really likes the corner piece, but then part of me isn't as big a fan of it, that it's shelving, because sometimes I just want the cabinet there, you know? Is this the new stuff pack kitchen? Yes, the home chef hustle. Safety first, people. Pop that there. I wish they had both. Yeah, that's not just me, is it? Okay, let's just pop this down here. Do you reckon the Sims can still use, actually, I better put it here. Now, the other thing is, because this house is so big, um, I think we should deliberately try and not place too many items in it. I think it suits the house for it to be very like crisp and clean and minimal anyway. But also just, if you want to download this lot, it would be, like a nightmare if it's got heaps of clutter in it. Just for loading and yeah. Okay, sink can go here. Oh, actually, we're gonna need to have something over on this side as well, won't we? Otherwise it's a little spacious. I mean, we, we may as well have like a really big, big bench. Oh, whenever I build kitchens in The Sims 4, oh, actually, now that looks a little too small. Maybe we'll just have a single bench. Whenever I build kitchens in The Sims 4, I just think, I want to renovate my own kitchen in real life so badly. One day. Just sink there, sink there. I wish I could have fit a butler's pantry in here, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. And then put this there, maybe over here. And then we'll have, 
We could have a secondary stove top. No, no, we're gonna keep it simple. We literally said we're gonna keep it as simple as possible. Also, we need to move objects on. By the way, you guys, tomorrow in Australia, it is November 1st. And you, wait, that's the cabinet. Where's the range hood? That's what I want. And you know what that means? It means the Christmas tree goes up. Yay. Oh, Juju, that would be the best vlog. Kitchen runner vlog. <sighs> one day. Dang inflation. No, one day. It'd just be really cool to do it in real life. Actually, no, it's probably really stressful. Have you guys, for anyone who's renovated a kitchen or lived in a house while the kitchen was being renovated, how, how stressful was it? A few years ago, Deli, I don't get... Oh, a few years ago, Deli said, I don't get why people decorate for Christmas. <laughs> a few years living with James, I'm like, November 1st, let's go. I already have Christmas outfits ready. Like, I'm not even kidding. I have Christmas loungewear. Oh my God, so stressful. We used a hot plate in the dining room for six months. Dang, that's it. Cause even if you're super organized, you never know, like it could still take forever. Or you don't know when prices will change of things. So yeah. I feel like I'd want to save. <laughs> I don't know if there was any way of actually having someone, I guess a building manager, take care of it so you don't have to, that would be great. But I guess, realistically speaking, not many people can do that, have the luxury of doing that. But I think that would be ideal. We added the stove last, so it wasn't a problem. It wasn't stressful at all. Oh, that's good. November 1st is the official day to put up Christmas decor. Yeah, do you guys feel like November 1st is the day? I'm not happy with these lights. Is the day to put up the Christmas decor? I used to be the Christmas Grinch. I was like, I don't want decorations up. I'll get like a minimal looking Christmas tree that doesn't even really look like a Christmas tree. And then James was like, can we please get an actual normal looking Christmas tree? Like not a minimal modern looking weird one. I was like, well, it means so much to James. Like, obviously I'm not gonna say no. So we ended up getting a regular Christmas tree. And then um, I don't know what happened. James changed me. I'm a changed woman. It was a few planks of wood hanging on the wall. <laughs> James was so sad. I was like, it's nice. It's minimal and modern looking. Okay, I really am struggling with these lights. Let's just do some of these and call it a day. This looks like a gallery kitchen. There we go. It's like a bit of an art, an art thing. Oh, that's is stretching. You do the 1st of December for the Christmas tree. Um, that was a sad year. Oh, James, I'm sorry. But you changed me and now I love Christmas. And now I'm like November 1st. Actually, I have a hair appointment on November 1st. And I was like, oh no, James. Last night I said to James, I was like, James, oh no. He's like, what is it? I'm like, I'm gonna have to cancel my hair appointment. He's like, why? I said, cause it's on November 1st. <laughs> He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, if we have to put up the Christmas decorations and start wrapping presents. And he's like, you can still go to your hair appointment. <laughs> he's like, it's not gonna take like all day and all night. Like, we don't even have that many Christmas decorations. And for some reason in my head, I was like, oh no, I have to cancel everything. 
What are you getting done? Oh, actually, I should run this by you guys, but, um... So, basically... Alright, I kind of need to show you. So, if my hair isn't, like... If it doesn't have the waves in it, imagine it sleek bob. So, the front's just, like, straight. Typically, the hair at the front is thinner. So, I'm getting my just clip-in hair extensions cut to sit at the front underneath this hair to make it look thicker. So it'll actually sit just under here, the extensions. They'll have like really thick bob hair. If you think about like Kim Kardashian and like all of the Kardashians had that really thick front bob, that's probably how they did it. Um, so that's why I was going there. But then I was also tempted to maybe go shorter with the hair, like another just like to here, because it's going to grow out so quick, like that much off. So it's just off the shoulder. I don't know. Because it, it will grow pretty quick, I think. What do you guys think? Should I ask to go shorter? I mean, in saying that though, I don't even know if they're going to have enough time to also do that. You'll need to do a hair tutorial once you get one ironed out. Oh, for you guys? Yeah, that could be cool. Just on the Deli Diary channel. Okay, what appliances do we want in here? Waffle maker? I saw someone ask this in the chat before. Waffles or pancakes? Actually, I really want to do a poll on this because this is a really big question. This is like really important. Which is better? Pancakes, waffles, and I guess I better do both. And if you don't like them, then hmm, maybe just don't vote. <laughs> okay, so now we have a poll and I'm not gonna tell you guys what I think until the end, but I think some of you guys already know. Very important question. The other thing I wanted to let you guys know, no, that over there. Um, is I've finished reading The Hobbit and now I'm reading Lord of the Rings and I'm enjoying it. But then I realized there's only three Lord of the Ring books. I was like, oh, this is going to go really quickly. And now I'm like, I don't want to read it because then it'll be over. <laughs> I voted waffles, but French toast also deserves love. See, I don't think I've ever had a good French toast. I think that's my problem. Because all I remember about French toast is like making it at home and you dip it in it's soggy in the egg mix. I just, yeah, I feel like I haven't had good French toast. I don't know what else to put in this kimchi. You know? Okay, how are we going? Waffles one? Really? Okay, I think I know what's going on here. Waffles aren't that big. In oh no, pancakes is catching up. The pancake people are mad. <laughs> um, waffles aren't that big in Australia, whereas they're huge in America and I assume Europe. Like a Belgian waffle, that is Belgian, right? Now I feel really silly. Oh, pancakes is catching up, waffles. If you want to protect waffles, you better vote. Imagine if his name was Bob Waffle. Just sounds so... Just not right. Okay, now Pancakes is in the lead. Wow, you guys... That, that happened so quick. You know what? I think what I'm gonna do here is just put like a little jug in the corner and call it a day because I don't want to clutter it too much. I want this to actually be playable. So let's just do that. Do we want some bar stools along here? Oh, I forgot to check the price of the house. It's already at 352,130 simoleons. Wow. Cassie, welcome to the pancakes. Welcome, Mort. Thank you so much. 
I hope you enjoy um, the backlog of all those members videos. Hope you enjoy them. And yeah, I really like making them. All right, so pancakes one, I think we can end the poll here. Now that makes me happy because I am a pancake girl all the way. James and I went through this stage where we call Sundays Sundog. And the reason why is because we believe Sundays are the day for dogs, okay? It's when the dogs have their families home, they hopefully get to go for longer walks, you know, they might have visitors if they like visitors. It's just, it should be the day for dogs. So we have Sundog. And the tradition on Sundog for us was to make pancakes. And James would uh, make his dad's special pancake recipe, which James, can I tell them what else the special pancake recipe can make? Or is it like top secret family business? So yeah, oh, we've already got outdoor bins. Um, yeah, so I went through this period of time where we were having pancakes every week and it got out of control. It's a family secret, okay. Sorry guys, I can't tell you. I wish I could, but I cannot. Should we put sconce lights in here? These are pretty cool. Hello, Fun Dun, how you doing? Secret pancakes recipe. James, you are the secret to YouTube success. Oh, do we have some Joms fans in the chat? I didn't even know you guys knew that guy. I mean, I do like, I really like this light. But does that stick out too much? Maybe we should go for something more minimal like that. No, that guy is lame. I think he's... Yeah, I guess he's not all that hot stuff, is he, after all? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yes, I think James is very handsome and funny. I think so too. James is actually, he's so funny, isn't he? My family has a secret waffle recipe. These secret recipes. We'll go with this in, in the dining area. Actually, if that's the only wall for a painting in the dining area, perhaps we should go with something a little bit more dramatic. Whoa, okay, not that dramatic. Not that big, I always do that with these. This is more what I was talking about. James Batu. James, we should get married in Batu and I'll dress up as, um, Jabba the Hutt. Oh, that painting is from uh, the Modern Lux kit, the other one. This one's from City Living. See, I don't know if I feel that one either. This is, the, this is why my builds take so long. Because I spend so much time just Figuring out the best option. <laughs> okay, there we go. Painstaking process. I'm sure a lot of you guys are the same when you play Sims. Whereas other people are like, oh, whack it there, whack it there, we're good to go. Oh, Batu, let's go. Married, I thought you two were just good friends. Well, we became more than good friends. How long ago? Three years ago? I think it's been three years. Has it been three years? I don't know. Oh, Grouza, he's such a good boy coming to work. Do the glass table here. 
We just had our anniversary. I know. It was three years, wasn't it? 20. Yeah, three years. I'm right. Four. Oh, wait, yeah, it is four. Well, time flies when you're having fun. Am I right? <laughs> Same age as Bowser. Oh, yeah, we just go by Bowser's age. <laughs> Whoopsies. Don't be, like, don't be offended. Will you use CC today? Oh, I didn't actually... I wasn't planning on using CC in this build. Um, you probably, I don't know if you've seen the last couple of builds we did, but those have a lot of, a lot of CC. I love these chairs. These are also from the Modern Lux kit as well. I still have to ask my husband how long we've been married. He's the one with the memory in our relationship. Yeah. Well, see? I feel like there's usually one person who remembers really quite well. And I'm I'm just the, you know, the one that doesn't, and that's okay. UCC, it would be so pretty. It would actually look really good with custom content. This, oh, there's so much good custom content. I keep going to do like a CC haul video, but then I just want to build with it. So I end up just doing builds with custom content and telling you guys where to get the custom content. As opposed to doing like a full on haul. Oh no, James has gone quiet. We hear his car roaring down the street. He's off. He hurt his feelings. No, I can't hear that. What should we put here? A piano? He's like, I'm here, reluctantly. Whoa. We need one of those mini pianos. Can we just turn this into a mini one? You know how all the mansions have like mini pianos? Although the Sims would look odd playing the mini one probably. I'm here by choice, not reluctant. Aww, well, it's good to have you here. Kiarism is chef's kiss. It is. Okay, this just, this is too big. Okay, what else can we put here? A podium? Um, a statue? You tell her, James. <laughs> My favorite influencer is Bowser. Me too. A wedding arch can get married in the dining room. Hello, will you be streaming on YouTube again? Um, yeah, we'll have another stream later this week. So keep an eye out for that. <laughs> I think it's on. Which day are we doing that stream on? Let me check my schedule. I think tomorrow. No, Thursday. Thursday. We will have another stream later this week. Yawns. <laughs> I'm just playing it cool, okay? I'm just playing it chill. But it's gonna be really good! So get excited. Oh, I'm dropping frames again. Because I zoomed in. We have to build from out here. Okay guys, I really don't know what to put in this area. Fish tank? It looks okay on stream. Okay. Maybe some chairs for the brandy moment. Oh, I know, I know. Why don't we go to the, yeah, the buffet tables. That's what we should put here. Like a, yeah, a buffet table. 
Because, you know, they probably have lots of events here and a personal chef and all of that. So let's pull that there. You are my favorite YouTuber. Aw, thanks, Eric. That actually is, you know, the, the biggest compliment. So thank you. I appreciate that a lot. Okay. Simple. Uh, what the heck, Eric? Says James. Uh, thanks, Philippe. Jennifer, thank you so much for becoming a Judith Ward superstar member. Let's go, Jennifer. Hope you enjoy all of those videos you have. Um, all the members' videos. Hope you enjoy watching them. I was just thinking then which members video I'm doing next, but I think I'm doing a QA. and a James for his members did a Q&A video while he was building Lego, which I really enjoyed. I'm about halfway through it. It's like a three hour video. It's pretty long. So yeah. And then I was thinking, oh, maybe I want to do a Q&A too. And then I was like, mm, maybe I should do like a painting Q&A. That could be cool. James is like, hey, you're stealing my content. It was fun. Leanne from the UK, hey, I love the UK. I love the Q&A vids and watching y'all do relaxing tasks. Hmm. Actually, it was quite funny. Um, the other day, I go to therapy weekly to help with my anxiety and um, I call my therapist Penny. We we named her Penny after Penny Pizzazz one stream because I was like, I don't really want to say her real name on stream. So we're like, what can we call it? Penny, like Penny Pizzazz. So I see Penny weekly and I'll hold that thought. Oh, this is such a good song. I'm loving the vibe of this music again. Ah, this is what I want. Um, anyway, I often, like I'm a fidgeter. I really struggle to sit still and I'm always doing multiple things. And like, if I'm watching something, usually I like to have my laptop out. Um, anyway, so when I'm in therapy, I'll be like folding the washing or often I'll be, I don't know, doing something, going for a walk. And because it's not in person, it's over the phone, I can do that. So anyway, I was speaking to Penny, I think it was, two weeks ago and I decided that day I'd do some painting and she was like oh what are you doing today Maddie and I was like oh yeah I'm painting and she's like oh nice and I was like oh it must be you know really nice and interesting seeing what all of your clients are doing when they're speaking to you and she goes it's just you and I was like oh and she goes apart from the kids um but no it's just you <laughs> I was like that makes me feel really special, but also like a child. <laughs> mm, same, same. Well, at least Anna's the same in the chat. My cat's name is Penny and she's watching your stream. Hey, Penny. <laughs> Sorry, that was mean. I love you, Penny. ADHD gang. Is that a symptom of ADHD? I'm pretty sure she would have um, mentioned it if I was ADHD by now. Been going to her for a while. What is the fanciest looking armchair for this house? Those ones are pretty nice. Oh, there's, ooh, actually maybe, hmm, it's a bit more plush. Oh, I did not realize that was like an ADHD thing. That's interesting. Absolutely, I'm just all over the place myself, constantly switching tasks. Isn't it interesting? Like, we're all so different. I think we'll go with the, these matching chairs. They just look a little bit more contemporary. So we'll do that. And then we'll do, we'll do the black lounge. No, I think the cream's nice. Jello Fairy, thank you so much for the donation. 
Um, we're playing City Skylines 2 shortly in this stream. Um, so we're going to be switching games. And today's stream is sponsored by City Skylines 2 as well. Um, they said, hey, do you want to give the game a go? And I was like, I do. So yeah, we're going to check it out. James might need to help us a little bit. We're going to be starting it as beginners. I just want to make that really clear that I am not a pro at City Skylines. But I think that'll be good because then we can all kind of work together and some of you guys who are more familiar with City Skylines can help. <laughs> I know what I want to do here. And that is... Services. Yeah, I'll probably come hang out too. It is... It is like a, a really... Impressive game. I did, the closest thing I played was so long ago. Um, it was probably Sim City, Sim City actually, back in the day. But that was like, the first Sim City probably. Juju, is this music bringing back old stream memories for you? Create like a modular coffee table. Hmm. I was hoping that it wouldn't flash around, so we might just have to do this type of a thing. Actually, you know what? I think that looks better anyway. Probably SimCity 3000, that was the first one. Yeah, maybe it was that. Bless you, James. I think we'll just do the black. Oh, that looks cool. Thank you. And Sarah, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the pancakes, not the waffles. A chandelier above the table. Yes. Good idea. Yes, GG. The old stream vibes. I love that new light. It's pretty cool. This one's also from, what do you call it? The glam. Okay, that's, that's a touch too low, that one. I think we need two of them. Anyway, I feel like one is not enough. So yeah, who's putting up their Christmas tree on the 1st of November? Raise your hand in the chat, please. Because if we sit down here, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Guess we don't need all of these lights then. All right, we need a feature wall over here. I'm also not convinced by this. I'm gonna do maybe this one. There's a lot of black. So, so maybe we do. Hmm. What kind of wall should we do here? Match the timber. I may this weekend. Hmm. Ah, oh, thanks, Bella. Justice for waffles. <laughs> what have we started? I wonder what Bowser is dreaming about. Probably peeping on everything, marking everything. Very modern, simple mansion. Love it. Thank you. The bowling panel. Oh, yeah, yeah, like the herringbone. What about that timber? I mean, this this is nice. Oh, you know what I've just noticed? This is all off center. Oh. 
Oh no. A beautiful table, I have to move it across again. Mm -hmm. Damn it, I had it I had it so perfect before. I mean maybe we just make it even like that. Eh, kinda works. The bowling. I know the one you're talking about. Our classic herringbone that we love. This one. That is that is a very nice wallpaper. The bowling pack really pulls through, surprisingly. I don't necessarily expect it to, but then it, it just does. You could even do a blue. Well, it's no sleek, is it? We gotta be like, you know LA houses, you know the typical LA mansion I'm thinking about? Like it's white, it's got dark timber. Everything, it's got like brand new furniture. It's got, it doesn't really feel like a home. Is what we're going for here. Don't forget to move the lights. Oh yeah, good one, Sarah. Totally would have forgotten. There we go. I like the blue. I mean, I liked the blue. Whoa, this TV is not fitting in very well. I liked the blue too. But I feel like for this house, it's maybe a little more on the boring side. Dorit and PK's house. You know, that's exactly what I was thinking about. Although their house isn't like, their house is more like the farm house vibe. Also, I have not started the new season of uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Usually James and I Enjoy a cheeky Beverly Hills moment. I haven't watched it yet. I feel like there was so much drama leading up to this season. And I feel like it, it was a big PR stunt, personally. But who knows? We could do a couple of like clean mirrors here, although the more mirrors we have it does uh, make the house lag more. Do you watch Vanderpump Rules? I actually don't. I never got into Vanderpump Rules. I heard it got crazy though. Like I heard about all the dramas. I've watched Salt Lake City. Um, I tried to watch Sydney and Melbourne. I didn't really get into those though. I feel like it was too, too close to home, which I think usually would make it more interesting. But for me, I was like, nah. And then uh, Potomac. Oh, Potomac I watched. Yeah, I love Karen. Um, just trying to find the right kind of lights. Mm, that looks a bit odd, doesn't it? Doesn't look quite right. And actually, you know what? Let's do the goldy gold, not the yellow gold. Sydney season one was brutal. I haven't seen the new one yet. Apparently the new one's quite good. Um, but yeah, it's, I don't think the first season was particularly well received. Okay, this needs to be lower because the chairs are lower. Yeah, low table. The giraffe lamp. Now that is fancy. Well, that's actually really cute. I really like this in that brown color. It gives it a tote. Sometimes when you try a different swatch, it gives it a completely different look. Like it suddenly becomes high end. Actually, 
actually. You know what? We should center this by making this kind of the main couch facing the TV and then we balance this out by having those on either sides of the room. Yes. Uh, sending love from Ohio. I got married since your last stream and seeing my married name on the member videos makes me so happy. Oh, congratulations. Did you go a big wedding or did you go like a elopement, lurky kind of vibe did you go for for your wedding? Congrats. Oh, lots of congrats in the chat. Oh, a funky floor lamp. Yeah, that's a great idea. I forget like how great it is building on stream for ideas. You know, like so many things that I don't think of. And then chat's like, what about this? I'm like, oh my God, it's amazing. Mm. That lamp doesn't really fit, does it? Maybe something more streamlined like that. It's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Hey, I stopped watching The Sopranos. I'm really torn about it, because I'm like, I really like this show, but it's really brutal. And I'm watching it, and I'm like, ah, this is scary. But then I'm like really invested in the storyline. Um, cool, a Vegas wedding. My best friend did a Vegas wedding. Oh, wait. It was a Vegas wedding. Cool! So when people say we had a Vegas wedding, do you mean you go to Vegas and go to one of the, um, the little chapels? And you can, like, can you do it on the spot or do you have to pre-plan it? I imagine you can do both, like you can do whatever you want. That's a show I've not seen in years. Well, yeah, I was watching Mad Men and I really liked Mad Men. I, I really loved it the whole way through. Although I probably won't ever watch the last season again just because it's sad seeing all the stories end, you know? But I yeah, I still really enjoyed the ending. Not sure if that makes sense to anyone else, but yeah, I really like that show. And then I realized the guy who produced it and directed it, he originally worked on The Sopranos. And then Sopranos is like listed as one of the best shows ever made. So I was like, well, may as well check out the hype. It'd be rude not to. Maybe we just do that. Um, yeah. And it just so happens it's like quite violent. I'm like, oh. oh. Yes, it was fun. It was a drive through Vegas wedding. drive through Wait, what do you mean a drive through I'm thinking Maka's drive through <laughs> Sir, I'm confused with how a wedding translates to drive through My husband and I just got married and we just shut the main street down for a block party and invited the entire town. Wow. That's cool. You can do both. You can do it on the spot. You can plan it out. There's drive through chapels. You can literally get married from inside your car through a window. You drive up like McDonald's. Oh my gosh. Wait, are you telling me you drive up in your car and the person's like, hey, how can I help you today? And you go, I would like one holy matrimony. 
match room or anything. I can't even say it. One wedding, please. And they're like, okay. And then they just speak to you through the window. And then you sign the paper and then you drive off. That's really cool. What a cool idea. One marriage, please. I was like, one marriage with a side of divorce. Oh gosh, no. Not at all. They'll be happily married forever and ever. Drive through wedding is crazy. That's a that's so cool. Did, can you get snacks as well? Do they give you food? One marriage with a side of fries, please. Oh my gosh, James would be so down for that. That's a thing here? Apparently, in America. It's always in America. Are you and James married? No. No, we're not, um, rushed about it at all. I think we basically are without being. Can you drive through divorce? Um, my guess is no, because I think that would take a bit longer to organize. And then you've got two people to satisfy that might not want the same thing. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. If you're happy, that's what matters. Well, I imagine one day we will. Um, one of my mum's best friends, like our really good family friends, um, I've known them since I was like a tiny tot and they were never officially married, but they basically are married. Just how they're living, you know? They've always lived together, done everything together. They just didn't ever feel a need to get married, so it works. And the other thing is, I feel like back in the day, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like you had to get married in order to legally have rights to sharing a home or like buying something or... I felt like marriage, there were all of these legalities to do with finances that you kind of needed to get married for. But now you don't need to do that because like, at least not in Australia. I guess you live... If you live as a de facto relationship, well, if you're a de facto, I'm not sure what qualifies as de facto, maybe living together for two or three years, um, then I think you're legally entitled to half the house. Something like that. Aw, that's nice, Hutchinson. I get half your stuff. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is interesting. I don't know. I, I don't know. Well, I feel like we should change over to city skyline soon. It goes so quickly, the time. We only just started, it feels like. Yes, James in the chat. I get half your stuff. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Wait, that's what James said? I read James as Juju. I need more coffee. Well, then I get half of your stuff. So it works. <gasps> Does that mean you get half my handbags? Because I might need to rethink this if that's the case. I'm kidding. 
Oh my, I don't want to take your stuff. I don't know. I think I just saw the J and read it as um Juju. And cause for you guys, both of you guys are mods, so you're both in blue. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's, that's quite bold of Juju in the chat to say that. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, you gotta laugh. Not the handbags. Oh, I get all the Lego. Half the Lego. Hmm. We'll sit down with the um, lawyer and they'll be like, so, what are your assets? And James will be like, this, and show all of his Lego. And he'll be like, she can't get any of it. I tell you. Oh my god. Okay, you can keep your handbags if I keep my Lego. Okay. I think we've solved the issue. So it'll all be fine. James gets one shoe of each pair of shoes. I'm actually not that much of a shoe gal, you know? I'm, um, I'm more of a handbag person. I do have a few sneakers that I'm, like my sparkly shoes, very important to me. Um, I have a pair of sneakers that look like really old and dirty that I'm really attached to. But I'm not, yeah, I'm more of a handbag person. What about you guys? Shoes or handbags? Some people have like so, so many shoes. One of our friends, he has like so many pairs of sneakers. Shoes, shoes. Is James with you physically, but in the chat? Um, yeah, we're at the same place, but he's just in the other room. He'll come in shortly, I feel. I sense. All right, I think we'll leave this here and then we'll change to city skylines because it's been just over an hour. Um, I feel like I never have enough shoes, but my bags are always fitting somehow. Hmm. Yeah, I don't feel like, like I have several handbags and they all have a different purpose. Like I have my going out bag I have my little, yeah, I have my going out bag, I have my clutch bag, I have my laptop bag, and I have my, um, my, like, over, ow, over the, my crossover bag. It, and it's a whole thing. But I don't have multiples of the same bag, if that makes sense. It's a very structured process. <laughs> That'll change when you have kids. I don't know if I want to have kids. I'm still really undecided. We, James and I were doing like the, the pros and cons list. And I was like, pro, um, little outfits. Speaking of which, I actually showed this in a members video recently, but um, for James's nephew. We got the cutest little outfit for him. This is for Christmas. How cute is that? I found it on Etsy. Yeah, Bowsy is our, um, our child. So we got that, which I thought was really cute. So cute outfits, I was like, perk. I was like dropping them off at school, perk, because it's really cute. Saying good, like tucking in at night, perk. And James was like, Wait a second. It's when you're dropping them off for school or putting them to sleep. <laughs> and I was like, oh no, I'm a terrible person. <laughs> I love kids clothes, but it is shocking how expensive for such little fabric. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, I don't know, but I feel like kids clothing. Well, actually, I wonder if it costs more to make kids clothing because it's like more intricate to sew it together, possibly. I have no idea. Okay, we're gonna be playing City Skylines too. So thank you City Skylines for um, sponsoring today's stream. And 
Skylines. If you guys would like to check out City Skylines, I have a special link in the description down below um, that you can check out. But basically it is a, I'm just setting it up now, it's a city building simulation game by Paradox. Actually, sorry, I should say the stream is sponsored by Paradox. Ooh, maybe I would like it. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> Let's go, I might click the link. Oh, thank you, James. Yes, click the link. <laughs> oh, okay. The game started, we have double music, I'm sorry. Wait, let me get my skylines on. I'm, I love our stream music. Okay, I might move my face cam to here. Okay. Oh, which means I need to flip my head. Okay, that was too much music. Let's just pause that. <laughs> we can't deal with two music. Zzz. I love your shirt, thank you. Um, I have not played City Skylines in years. Well, this is the new one. This is City Skylines 2. I guess we play a new game, eh? Um, and I just wanna flip my camera. Ah, there you go. Ah, hi, I'm here. Okay, now I'm facing the right way. Oh. Okay. You've been playing this game a lot recently? Oh yeah, how many of you guys know how to play this game? Or are familiar with it? I've never played, interested to see what it's all about. Well, we are gonna be learning together. Now, first of all, we need to choose where we're gonna build our city. So we have a few different options, which I would love your help picking. Um. We've got to think about water source because we will need to have water for our city. I mean, they all have water sources, but I mean, this one could be quite interesting because it's got the water running through the middle. That could be cool. Waterway pass. And the other thing is we can play with a cheat where you have unlimited money and you've unlocked everything. Um, you've never heard of it, James. I know a guy called Flabaliki who's heard of it. Is City Skylines only available on PC or is it available on mobile as well? Oh, I don't know about a mobile game. I think it's just a PC game, but James may know. Only PC now, but coming to console next year. Thank you, James. <laughs> um, what do you guys think? There's a lot of terrain issues, so Barrier Island is the flattest. You think this one? I just like this one because it's got a real big lake going through it. You guys like the Barrier Island? I'm seeing Barrier Island. Waterway Pass I would go for. That one is cool. Waterway Pass. James, what do you think about Waterway Pass? Or Barrier Island, which one? Barrier Island? So this theme is North American, 10 to 29 degrees Celsius. Buildable area, 41%. Oh, it actually says like the area, okay. Um, outside connections, so we can get highway connections, rail connections, ship connections, airplane connections, electricity. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just do it. What should we call it? Delhiville. Ooh, you can pick different themes for like the visual styling. Oh God, natural disaster. Left-hand traffic, yes, because being Australian, we drive on the left. Do we want unlimited money or do we want to play properly? 
well, I shouldn't say properly, but or do you want a play where we have to manage our money as we develop this city? And we can unlock everything or we have to play to unlock. Maybe we just do it unchecked to begin with because that's kind of, I feel like the basic way to play. This music is intense. Well, the music is about to finish, so we'll go back to our jazzy music, I think. I never knew Australia drove on the left. It's the same as the UK. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we're left-hand drivers over here. All right, so this is going to be our city. Whoa. So you start off in this area. However, as your city develops um, more and more, you can buy more land, which is very nice. Um, oh my gosh, thank you so much, Mars, for another five Deligracy memberships gifted. That is very kind of you. Thank you. Can we get some love in the chat? Peace and love. Thank you so much. Um, wow. Thank you. Okay. Put some music on again. That is so sweet, Mars. If you did just get gifted a membership, be sure to check out all of the bonus Deligracy member videos. Hope you guys enjoy them. So, where do we begin in Deliville? Um, how do I even explain where we begin? Okay, I'm a beginner. So, we can first up pause the game or like speed up the game. Um, so that way you can control like how quickly you're moving. But I guess the first thing we should probably do is check the wind's direction and the water direction. So. I let James was teaching me how to do this. So if we go to industrial zones, okay. So this way we can see arrows and this tells you which way the water is running. And the reason why this is important is when we eventually put in industrial things into our city and our waste management, you don't want like where you collect water from to be downstream of the industrial stuff. That's the wind direction. Oh, is this wind? Yeah. Isn't this the land? Where the arrows are is the land. Because you're in the industrial. Oh, place. wait, wait, wait. That's wind direction. Yeah, the water one. If you go to the water menu, and then you'd have to choose like the pump or something. Then that's oh, <laughs> I got confused <laughs> with where the land and the water But was. you were basically saying the exact right thing with the pollution. So, yeah, yeah, so you want to take into consideration. Yay, James is here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the water direction is, is, is kind of trending that way. So, all right, we've got to keep that in mind because we want to make sure that we don't place anything downstream from like sewage. And then the wind direction was going the other way, was it? this way. So yeah, we want to make sure any air pollution won't be heading towards residential areas. So that's what we want to check first. <laughs> Gluon's here? Oh my god, Gluon's here. Whoa. Isn't he supposed to be like three minutes? Yeah, aren't you meant to be live? Gluon! If you guys don't know, about to go our good friend Dr. Gluon, he's the best. He does live streaming and YouTube videos. He plays all sorts of games. Okay, so we need to begin our road. Wait. There's a little dip in the road there. Oh, because he's on Dr. Gorn's screens. Wait, I think I want to like raise the, up the road a little bit. Well, actually, okay, let's think about this. I want to make this perfect. That'd be so good. Perfect. Perfect. So let's do... Oh my god, I've already forgotten the direction of the wind. <laughs> the wind's going that way, so we want the industrial stuff over this side. Okay, so our, our industrial area can be like over here. And our residential can be like right here. Yes. Our residents are gonna be so happy, they're gonna live near the water and it's gonna be beautiful. Uh oh. Wait, is that floating in the air too? Yeah, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I did it the wrong way. I'm a professional. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. It's because you're, you're at the elevation, remember? Yeah. Yeah. So I gotta start here. <laughs> let's not do the elevation. I was getting too far ahead of myself. Let's let's edit that out, everyone. Let's edit it out. Hey, you know, when you're a beginner with games, you gotta start somewhere. Yeah. Okay, oh. so this is this is where our residential area is gonna be. And they're gonna they're gonna be so happy, you guys, because they're gonna be right near the water. Look at that. I mean, that's just beautiful. Wow. It, I know. I love it. Let's do some simple, let's do some curves. Whoa. You use the last curve one, it will just like keep flowing into different curves. Like oh. you do the first one. Because if you do the first one and then keep going, it will like keep curving around. Oh. So you can sort of like snake it. Look at Look at this. Whoa. There's gonna be houses along the cliffside. Oh my gosh. Also, the residential people, they don't like living near highways and there's a highway right here, so. Remember dollars. Ah, we'll be fine. Uh, you got like 500,000. And when you like get to the next level, like, you get a bunch of money, you'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'm inspired by the Sydney winding roads. You know why they wind? Why? Because it's like hilly and cliffy. And this is flat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can I make it hilly with a yeah, terrain tool? Yeah, you can if you want. But it probably won't look that good. It, it's easier just to do it flat. Let's you can play do it a roundabout. Kind of, it yeah. takes a lot more time to like finesse it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. There's a beautiful roundabout. Aww. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. I don't know why, but this just makes me so happy making a happy place for people to live. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh, there's no room for the houses. It's okay, you can, you can always have the road and then have them on the other side. Like, they don't have to be on the water side. True, then everyone can see the water. Uh, you're so generous to the people. I know. <laughs> They're gonna be so happy here. Okay, look at that. Wee! This um, looks sick. When you put the houses on the water side, just... Because you see how some of the grid squares kind of go in the water? Yes. Don't zone that because it will just like... The houses will go into the well, water? Well, it will just like pull up the land and... It, yeah, so just don't feel the whole thing, otherwise it will sort of make it not look as glorious. Okay. Alright, so we've got our basic road, and I, I think we will also have <laughs> some local shops basic road it's like <laughs> a very basic road you know just it's just a basic road guys nothing to see here this is gonna be our local oh wait i need straight roads our local shops mm. oh there we go and then we're gonna even have a little a little lane alley that like runs through cool oh yeah that are you proud of me? I'm so proud. Aww. I've waited eight years to see you play Studio Skylands and you're finally doing it. Aww. Hey, what happened to our music? Oh, how rude. Maybe we reached the end. Oh, maybe turn on the loopy. Yeah. There we go. <sighs> that's better. Okay, so that's where our shops are going to be. Okay, and then our industrial area. What the heck is this over here? I didn't put you here. I uh, just that came with it. Oh. <laughs> so you can use it if you That's want. a gravel dirt road. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh la la. I'm gonna extend this, and this is gonna be our industry. So let's uh. Well. Hmm. We're gonna have a big road going all the way to industrial town. You can build another bridge on the other side of it. Here? Yeah. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah, you just drag it across the water, it should just make a bridge. I feel like this should be a main road though, not gravel. We can upgrade it with the, the swapping tool. The swapping tool. So what yeah, choose that? A, yeah, that one. So if you choose a road you want, we can change it to like whatever. Ooh, two lane road. Well, yeah, that's like the default road. 
Uh, uh, uh oh. <laughs> so when you upgrade, you choose which lane sort of upgrades and it aligns to that. So <laughs> Wee! <laughs> oh no. All the trucks will um, be like, whoa! <laughs> you might need to. <laughs> you might want to change it, maybe. I mean, I guess you could leave it if you want a bit of creativity, a bit of a flair. I think I might change it. <laughs> I'm becoming quite the perfectionist here. Yeah. Let's just do a, a two lane bridge. You know, it reminds me of that bridge. Have you guys all seen that photo where it's like this bridge that goes up really high and it like goes like sideways and it's like really uh, all over the place? Uh... It's like the, it always comes up online. Hang on. Let me find it. Oh, what happened here? What do you mean? Oh, because you've chosen asymmetrical road, so there's two lanes one way and one the other way. So it's like actually a three lane road, but it was okay, swapping which just... direction it was going. This is too too high tech for my skills right now. <laughs> it can be useful later on. Yeah, I'm sure once we get better at the game. Now that's a bridge. <laughs> um, it's a roller coaster. Yes. All right. So now. Oh God, I sounded so. So now. So now. There you go. That that bridge. That I put in chat. That's what yours looks oh like. Oh my god, is that an actual... <laughs> yeah, it's in Japan. It doesn't look... You can just drag it on. It doesn't look as... Just drag it? Yeah. Whoa. There you go. That bridge. <laughs> Why did they build that? Uh, what I... is, like, how that came to be? Uh, I've read about it before. There's a reason. It's not actually as bad as it looks in that photo, because... The camera's like really zoomed in. But anyway, that's what your bridge reminded me of. <laughs> uh, you should just be able to drag from point to point, can't you? Like, and... No, so, and uh, remember to change the elevation. Oh, down. I keep forgetting. You can also do page up and page down as well. Oh, it doesn't like... Oh, there, there you go. There. Yay! Now that's a bridge. Thank you so much, Abby Owens. Welcome to the pancakes. Oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that'll do. We got there in the end. <laughs> I guess our elevation was a little off. Oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's, it's just like a little quirk. You know, we've all been there with our roads. Have oh. we? <laughs> yeah. You can just drag straight across if you feel. Oh, if you do page up, maybe. Well, like elevation and then now just drag across. Yeah. Ah. They've changed some of this because I haven't really properly played number two yet. So I think some of the stuff I'm used to in one has changed a little bit. Mm. So I'm trying to help, but maybe it's wrong sometimes. And I apologize if I'm wrong. Well, you better not be. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, here we go. Ah. Uh, do you post these as VODs so you can watch it back? Yes, um, this will be a, a VOD. Yeah, it automatically uh, does that on YouTube. You can also, if, you're, if you want, on a YouTube stream, you can just uh, go to the little play bar. You can actually just drag it back if you missed anything. So you don't even have to, you can just watch it back now if you want. Yeah, so yeah, you can watch from the start right now if you'd like, or you can keep up with the current, where we are currently. Very cool. Oh, look at that curve. Dang. I mean, it's a little rough just here. But... So that's okay. We don't look at that bit. If you just put it off camera, we can't see it. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay, this is our first go. Uh, looks amazing. That bridge is a roller coaster. It is. It's fine. Okay, so this is going to be our industrial area. Ooh, more curves. Wee! Whoa. Now that's what You're I... really enjoying the curves today. I am. Holy moly. How good is that? That's so cool. Okay, now let's go with some straighter points. There we go. There we go. They're all going to be working here and they're going to be so happy. And we need roundabouts. Wee! Cool! 
All right, now we can actually start building stuff now that we've done our basic roads. We need the I'm fine sound clip, yeah. Okay, now we begin the residential zones. So we start off with low density housing. Um, and then we can move up to higher density housing as we level up. And we level up by the success of our city. Um, so yeah, just be careful of the cliff that doesn't go too far out when you're zoning. Hmm. If, yeah, if you go to that mode and then if you if you press I, they can just see it better, then you can sort of yeah, drag it out so it fits a bit better. Uh, and you look, see how some of the grid building. Got, some of the grids go all the way to the water, so it's like, if you fill it all, it will just like flatten the whole house and it will just make a big block out there. Yeah. So you just want to be careful when you do that bit. Okay. I'm so scared driving in roundabouts. Are you? There's a state in Australia called Queens... <laughs> Queensland. <laughs> and um, I don't know why, but I swear in Queensland, people drive like crazy through roundabouts. It's like people don't stop. Look at the little cranes. Yay. Okay, so this they is gonna- They love it. They absolutely do. That look, they're living the life. They're living on this beautiful coastline, coastline? Kind is of like a bay. Here? Yeah, I don't know, wait, zoom out. Is it, oh, okay. It's like uh, a little- um, What would you call that? Uh, I mean, I guess technically maybe a river, and then the coast is on the other side. Yeah. I don't know. Um, this game I find confusing, so I'm excited to watch a beginner. Oh, well, you're welcome, because I am a real beginner. <laughs> in for a treat, let's go. In for a treat. So then we just draw in where we want our residential areas. Well, actually, we don't have to draw it in. You can also use this paint bucket to just go bam, 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 bam. And just going to automatically fill up all of these um, grid spaces with houses. And bit by bit, they're going to be built. And we can speed it up if we want to. Now, you'll also see there's some scary icons uh. Ugh, um, <laughs> over here. and. It's saying there's no electricity, because there isn't. And there's no water, because there isn't. And there's no waste management, because there isn't. Well, what do they need all that for? I They're don't right know. By the water. I d yourself. Honestly, I don't know. Um, Who in their right mind would move in and build in a town that literally has nothing? <laughs> no, these people are like, yes, I'll no, buy. This is on you for moving in. <laughs> They're so needy. <laughs> you, you're the ones that built a house here. Mm-hmm. So we're going to need to get some power. I mean, I don't even know how a building without power, to be honest, but they are. <laughs> um, so what we can do is we can get power from a neighboring city, um, which will cost us money over time. Or we can do things like build our own wind turbines, which cost more in the beginning, but then you don't have to like buy electricity. Um, or we could get a coal power plant, but I feel like that's a big chunk of money. So I think we should borrow some monies. I mean, borrow some electricity from other places. Hmm. So what do we place to do that? Just the transformer. The transformer. Yeah. And we need to find where that connects, which is just over here. You can place the transformer anywhere, but yeah, if you want it close by. That. That works too. Um, I guess you might as well do it there, then it's already connected to the grid. Sweet! So you just have to place one transformer and then you see all of this pulsating Whoa. Whoa. stuff Whoa. that's now gonna Whoa. go all along like our roads. Wait, why doesn't it go along this road? Because uh, there's no, no one there, it doesn't need to. Oh, right. And then that's just gonna give us electricity to all the houses we've built. And then that'll also hopefully get to that side as well. Okay, so it's actually, it's very detailed, but at the same time, it's quite simple. What is my favorite food? Potato and corn chippies and banana. <laughs> all, together, <laughs> all together at the same time. <laughs> Do not place it at the main road. Why not? Yeah, it'll be fine, don't worry. 
Look, this is not going to be a city of a uh, hundred thousand people, so it'll be okay. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, are you going to spend hundreds of hours in this city, or are you going to start? I a new don't one? know. Uh, you probably won't. Maybe I will. And the other thing is, you can always move stuff at any time, anyway. So if it's a problem, you just move it. Okay. Weirdest nacho dessert ever. Not all together. How Queenslanders drive through roundabouts isn't nearly as scary as how New South Wales is merging into me. Okay, New South Wales roads are another thing <laughs> that coming from Victoria where it's a little different is confusing to me. So many signs, so many signs. Um, and if you're not from Australia, we're just talking about how different states vary. Okay, so when it comes to water source, we can get a water pumping station that will extract water from a lake or river. Um, and then it will deliver the water through pipes along the roads, or we can get a water tower. Um, costly to maintain compared to its output capacity. Okay. Groundwater pumping station. Okay, so that'll just get water from underground, I guess, not from the water source. And we'll need a sewage outlet as well. Let's we'll just get a water pumping station. Yeah, you got plenty of water. So. <laughs> So our sewage will want to have downstream because we don't Which want way it. Is it? Because oh. this water is going to go wee. Yeah, so you want to get the water from over that side somewhere. Yeah. We could do it here. Let's see, let's pop it there. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Oh. Wow. And we get our water pipe and it's going to connect all the way to our through our electricity uh, tower. You can just build a road, because the roads come with water pipes. Oh yeah. And because this building needs a road as well, so you may as well just do it. Yeah, we'll do a road. Some, I think the sewage pipe doesn't need a road. Oh, there's outflow pipe, so that one needs a road. I like my curvy roads. Is that road connected? Yeah, there's no symbol, it's fine. Okay, so do my little houses have water? Yeah. They do. Yay! So now we've just got the sewage to figure out. So we have a sewage pipe here, but we need a sewage outlet. Now this is, we need to be careful of the sewage. Probably because I don't want it next to the where the houses you just built are. Yeah. Uh... Oh wait, does the sewage have to be near the water pump? No, you, you want it as, you don't, no, you want it as far away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm <laughs> just saying, making sure. I'm saying you probably don't want it there next to the houses. Right? Here. Can you have water over the other side with the industrial, industrial area? Oh, wait, that's flowing. No, oh, hang on. That's going to flow down. Hmm. Wait, what about here? I mean, yeah. It's like right. right on the edge. <laughs> kind, of, kind of near the houses. They get, they get to look at it. They'll like it. I thought I organized this so perfectly. That's OK. You can always move it later. And you can also get like sewage treatment plants later, so it's like uh, not just blowing out into the water. So you can upgrade later on. Oh well. Okay. And then we. Do roads have sewage pipes? Yes, but you can just build a regular. Because this doesn't need a road to it. Mm -hmm. So you can just build a pipe. Can it run through water? Oh, it looks like it. I don't know if it can. And I think it's because you go straight, you have to go like down first, because it's kind of like. Yeah. Oh, you didn't connect it to the actual side, oh. but. <laughs> it's not connected well, to the That's a bit end. of a problem. Yeah, it's just going into the, the, the water. Can't it just go out? Can't they just end the pipe? Why does it need a connect? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, now I got. Do you have to go to underground mode to, to do that? Underground mode. Yeah, underground. So go back to the lows. Builders underground, yeah, there we go. Thank you. Ugh, the sound effect of the sewage is like <laughs> nasty. Whoa, it's windy out there. Yeah. I love you so much. Giant kiss from Portugal. Ah. Thank you. That is so sweet. Giant kiss from me and Bowser. Big slobbery kiss from Bowser. Yeah. It was so drooly yesterday. Oh, look at that. 
I love it when it like oh, pulsates. The poo-poo's flowing. The poo-poo's, look at them all. How are they doing so many poo-poo's? I don't know. All right, what do you need next? Is, does this have storage? Oh no, there's nothing there. So that's what we need next. We need business. Because you can see down here, you can look at the demand of your city. So right now there is a big commercial demand because we have no, no commercial buildings. We have no jobs for people. We have an industrial demand because we have no industry. Um, and actually there's a low density residential demand for some reason. Uh, people are wanting to move here because it's so nice with all our curvy streets. Hi, Delian James, my mum wants to know how is Bowser? Oh, thanks, Kate. Thank you for the 10 months. Um, Bowser's very well. He's just snoozing. <laughs> I mean, that's really the update of Bowser. <laughs> I can't remember what song we sang to this, but anyway. So, oh, big stretch bows. So this area is our industrial area, which we put there because we can see the wind's direction. And it means the pollution is gonna be pushed away in the direction of the arrows, away from our city residential area, which is over here. So now we're gonna build industries. And I think the more industrial stuff you have, the more taxes your residence pay. Oh, so that's that? a good way for you to make money. Are you asking me something? Yeah, like if you build industrial stuff, does that mean people pay more tax? Which means well, you have city has more pays. money. So residential, commercial and industrial, they all pay tax. They have different tax rates. And I don't think you can do it yet, but once you get the budget panel, you can adjust taxes per um, zoning time. Oh, okay. But the industry, they'll produce goods for the commercial buildings. Okay. Uh, Julie, good night, sleep well. Good night for all in Europe. Yeah, isn't it like 2 a.m. for a lot of you guys? Um, oh, it's, it's the Wiki Feet song, that's right. Then I will go five stars on Wiki. Okay, Ben, not sing that song right now. <laughs> oh, look, get a free drink today from our bar. Look, all of these places are opening. Yay! You can see the demand's going down. So here's all of our local shops. Okay, now the residents want to move in, so we gotta put more residential lots in. Wee! We're killing it, you guys. We're almost at level one. And when we get when we get to level one, we can build more stuff. Oh my gosh, lots of people want to move here. Okay. Whoa, that was a big sound. I don't know what it was. Thanks, Sarah. Glad you like the hair. I'm loving the hair. Do you think we should go shorter? Like, this is gonna grow back pretty quick, like above shoulders. I'm just gonna build away from the water here. Oh, that's pretty close to the water. Oh, look at that. Not too much demand, just a healthy amount of demand. Just enough for people to like, want to move here because it's a little bit exclusive but they can still get stuff here you know what i mean wow Bass is really getting into it all right and we're done you're done my city's done they're happy you perfected it i perfected it will t what's up uh what are you hoping to see for a 10 year anniversary of the sims oh god i have no idea it'll be my 10 10th anniversary on youtube um, on December 20th. So I thought we could react to my first ever video, which is actually private. So you can't watch the first ever video. Okay, now we are thriving. Let's speed this up a little bit. Wee! And I wanna see the little peoples. Where are our little peoples? How do we go to, I just cancel it. Oh! Look at them all! Oh my gosh, if birth rates are going down, there'll be less need for services. Uh -oh. oh boy. <laughs> people are like, I'm not having kids in this town. <laughs> this city, so many people are getting sick. Our electricity production is not meeting demand. Well, that's not true. Uh, I mean, I guess technically it's not because you're just buying it, but 
And we can even see like who lives in our houses. There's one resident in here and you can see them walking around. Um, can you upgrade the house? So that usually depends on the land value and that will depend on stuff like city services. So if you have a lot of good like healthcare and schools and parks, uh, the houses and businesses, their qualities, they, they'll upgrade. Ooh. So because at the moment the land value is not that high, they're sort of the entry level houses. <gasps> Yay! Master we did it! We did it! Oh my gosh, we got 600,000 currency. Cool. Alright, so that means we can get some healthcare, I think. Ooh. Yeah, so you've already unlocked the healthcare and the waste management stuff, but then you can go to the upgrade path and you can unlock extra stuff like more road stuff or oh. other specific, more useful buildings and stuff as well in each category. Okay. So you can kind of just choose what you like, really. Um, I'm really into the healthcare. Oh, crematorium. So crematoriums are good because they take up a lot less space than the cemeteries and they don't fill up obviously, like a cemetery would. But you have a cemetery by default, so you already have one of those unlocked. Hmm. Thank you, Juju. Um... I don't know what to do next. I think... Well, let's get some healthcare, because people are getting sick. Do you think? Uh... Well, yeah, you should get that, and also the waste management stuff. Okay, well, let's get it. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, you might not. Yeah, so you see, the roads are red when they don't have good healthcare access, and it obviously it goes green when they have access to it. Right. You can see, it covers quite a lot of the, the road network, pretty much all of it, so. Well, let's put it here so it's easy to get to. Oh, we can't put it there. It's probably because the yeah there you go because the curve was like quite tight so it couldn't quite fit. All right, so we got our hospital, then we need our waste. Yeah, so this will be a landfill. So you you'll choose the first one. Okay. And so then, we need somewhere to put our rubbish. Yeah, so you're probably on that industrial area or near it, just because it's nasty. Yeah. Like over here yeah, somewhere. You can put it there, wherever you feel like. Because we're gonna need a bit of room around and then, it. Yeah, you can. This is where you actually dump all the trash so you can sort of draw a shape up to the circle that's as far as you can go yeah and then when you go close back to the building it should say like complete area or something you have to be around the back i think then close it with that you might need a <laughs> and i think you can circle it in go back the other side <laughs> like this side no 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 just, yeah just, no, no, right click and go back like the polygon tool. All right. right, right. Go back around the back because you have to draw it at the back again. Okay. Just on the other side. Like here? No, it's further back. Like at the back of the building where you started. Got it. And then it'll be like complete when you get no, no, on the corner at the top. Corner? Yeah. The top. What are you? Right mean? there where it's joining by the. You see how it's going to the end? Yeah. Ah! Oh, okay, we did it. And, okay, so you, you can fix it as well if you click on that other button in the bottom, the where it's like a polygon tool in that menu. Above, yeah. No. There. Yeah, click that. And you can, you can drag the nodes of it to fix the shape. And okay, got it. it. Okay, whoa. Is this all our rubbish? Well, it's just empty land at the moment, but you will see it fill up. Good lord. That's, that's a lot. Yay, we did it! <laughs> Sorry, guys. I am a beginner. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. <laughs> I said out loud, sorry, guys, I am a beginner. And then my watch said, it's okay. Thank you. Okay, so I need a bird. Uh, drag along the front, yeah. You click that, and then drag along the front. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then just kind of up. There we go. <laughs> oh, that All was right. a bad job, wasn't it? Oof. 
We did it, you guys. It is okay. You're doing great. Thank you. How does James know all of this information? Well, some of you guys might not know, but James has another channel for gaming. And uh, he has played a lot of City Skylines on there. So he's a bit of a... You're a pro. Yeah. He's I... like, yeah. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say so. Well, yeah, I played like, what, eight, seven, eight years of City Skylines 1. And then obviously I've been keeping up to date with all like the news and stuff of uh, Skylines 2. I haven't played a huge amount of it yet, but I'm more or less aware of the changes and, and that kind of stuff. Yeah, and as a little bit of life just said, the functionality of City Skylines 2 seems very similar to City Skylines 1, which is helpful. Yeah, this adds like, it basically builds upon 1. It adds a lot of new quality of life improvements and a bunch of new features. It's like one, but better, <laughs> basically, which is good. Which we love. We love. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm on curved roads. No, actually, that's kind of cute. Hmm. No, it doesn't like it. You just have like a little roundabout at the end. Yeah. Okay, I think we need to do some higher density residential area. There's a lot of demand. Everyone wants to live in Deliville. Ooh, they want some townhouses. Oh, sorry. Did I just knock down all these houses? No, yeah, well, they're gone. Sorry, guys. They like just moved in and there's, built the houses, and I'm like, get for living in sorry. Deliville. The thing with Deliville is the great thing about it is you just never know what what change might be happening, and that's why people love it. Full of excitement. You got a little, quite a long alley there. Tossed! <laughs> James is very technically and organization oriented. Yeah, so if you want to see, like, um, someone who really knows what they're doing in City Skylines, you can always watch James's Flabaliki channel. Well, those videos are of the first game, though. It is the first game, but. I'm sure I'll play the second. I, I don't know when I'm gonna do content on it, but I really I want to. So it'll be sometime. What about right now? I am. I'm, no, I'm playing kidding. vicariously. You are. Okay. Medium density row housing. North American style row houses. Well, let's meet this demand. Let's go. This is our medium density. I want to see what these guys look like when they move in. Oh, all the demand's already gone. Oh. There's probably like two people that wanted to move in. Oh no, they want the regular housing? Everyone wants the bespoke housing. Okay, you can have more. Wee. Wee. I'm sorry, but you should have moved here sooner if you wanted all of this cliffside. Oh, actually, we have a couple of lots coming up over here. We've got a couple of availabilities. We do have a few about availabilities. <laughs> it's coming back. Yes, please, says chat. I know you got a little bit of demand for it. Mm. What, you guys? Am I not good enough? <laughs> You're perfect. Thank you, I know. Perfect in every way. Not as perfect as Bowser, though. Plenty of free time. Okay, I want to see our little people. Where are my residents? Where are you? If you go to, like, the commercial area, there'll probably be more people walking around there. You reckon? Yeah. They're at their little... Sh oh my gosh, this looks so pretty. It, re it reminds me of... Is it in Sweden where they have those, like curved roads with beautiful curved lots on them. They look so cool. Um, it kind of reminds me of that a little bit, even though the lots aren't curved. Oh, look at this water. 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 Okay, I don't even know where my commercial area is. Oh, over here. Hello, people. Why aren't you out shopping? Aha! Uh -huh. Who have we got here? Hi. Hi, Sasha Gould, the Gould family, who are wealthy. Oh, where are they? Residents, 20 Park Street. Wait. That's where she's going. Oh, that's where she's going. How do I find her house? 20 Park so Street. If you, well, if you go back to her. Oh, wait, no, wait. Was that the empty lot? Hmm? Sorry, I think, wait, click again. The how. Yeah, go to it. I think it was the empty yeah. lot. Yeah. 
It's cause, yeah, so zoom out of it, because you're zoomed in. It's right there. It's not built yet. Oh! She's building. Oh, she's Damn. building a very long looking house. But she's wealthy. I want to see how, how what it looks like when it's done. Yeah, wow. That's gold. That's gold. Wealthy right next to the grocery store, maybe? Oh, wow. Yeah, there's some nice townhouses here. Wait, where's my best friend? Oh, here she is. Oh, I paused it. That's why she's not moving. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Slow down, ma'am. The Gould family, right. So it's just her. She is a career-driven woman, perhaps. Building her own house, dang. Dang. Slay. Everyone wants to be like Sasha Gould. <laughs> that 40 and by 20 lot. <laughs> she's wealthy and poorly educated. Oh, slay. See, you wow. don't need to go to school, kids. <laughs> Oh, is this her house? Whoa, she's there. She's living in this whole thing by herself? Man. Well, if you click on it, there'll be multiple households in there, I'm pretty sure, right? Like, it'll say... Oh, yeah, yeah, there's six households. So she has a place in there. Wow, good for you. Good for you. Now, here's this. Oh, yeah, so you can follow Jennifer citizens. Jennifer Riley. And then you can kind of... So follow tab. Yeah, and then it like, adds them and you can check on them later. Okay. But wealthy! Everyone's wealthy here. Damn. Wait, where's Jennifer? Oh, no. The Goodmans, the Mason, the Hooper. Ah, the Gould family. Okay. I want to follow her. Oh, she's got the penthouse. Whoa. I have to wait till she comes out. Let me stalk her front door. Let the stalk her front door. Well, I do need to go pee pee, so I'll just quickly do that. Okay. Oh my gosh, look, more people just want to move in. You don't have time to go to the toilet, you have to keep building. Ah. Uh, you can take over momentarily if you want. Okay. If she comes out of the house. Please call for me. I do not want to miss Ms. Gould. Okay. Okay. Be back in a sec. Toilet time. Okay.
Did she come out? I think so. Interesting. Well, like the in game time is what, 10 55 p.m., so mm. you're gonna come out in the morning. Oh, yeah, because I turned off night mode. Oh, big stretch. Oh, dear. Yeah, I was a when you left, and then everyone was like, oh. Oh, really? Mm. Oh. Okay, one sec, you guys. I want it to come out. Dang you, Gould. Dang you, Gould, I tell ya. I just thought, um, mm -hmm. I'll post this link. Oh, do you need it? I can do that if because I don't know if that would be the right Ah, no. Uh, I'll do it. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Welcome back. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I don't feel like we should keep stalking her. I think we have... Whoa, look at all of these houses! Oh my really? gosh. Out the toilet and then all of a sudden... Oh my gosh. You're gonna have to get City Skylines too. It's pretty fun. Waiting for a hearse. Oh dear. Oh, that's so sad. Okay. You probably need to build it. Okay, we need some stuff healthcare and we need a crematorium or a cemetery where are those kept is that okay i just pinned it oh thank you that's fantastic um yeah so check out uh city skylines 2 it's just pinned in the chat i actually didn't know that you could pin that one while you're alive so that's good thank you thank you <laughs> death care Cemetery, crematorium. Well, we could unlock a crematorium, and then we that's. We can just build a cemetery. Okay, well, why don't we I do mean, that? Or we can unlock a crematorium. Well, let's do the cemetery first and see how we go. Where should it be? In the industrial area. A cemetery in the industrial. It would be area. cool because it would be like super industrial looking. Ew. Feel this exposed why are you going brick. To be buried in the industrial park. Like I'm gonna go to where like all the. You love industrial design. It design not living in a polluted industrial park. What about if it's over the road on this island? It's a bit hard to get to, I suppose. I'm about to say. Well, <laughs> ah, it's well, gone. <laughs> well, let's. Oh, where should we put this? The coastline would be very nice, but this is. Prime real estate for a cemetery, though. It's very nice. Um, like here maybe? Straight off the highway? I mean, it, there's lots of cemeteries on highways. Oh, this is such a tough decision. I can only, well actually cemeteries are a bit harder to move because you have to empty them first. What, they are harder to move. Oh Lord. I was about to say, you can always move it, but you have to empty it first before you can move it. Whereas other buildings in the game, you don't have to do that. Can I build an island here? I mean, you can, but I don't know why you'd want to do that. <laughs> why don't we put it right here on the water's Actually, edge? you could buy more land. Actually, that's what you could do. So if you go to the, the button next to your number one. This one. Yeah. You can actually buy land anywhere on the map. So oh. you could actually put it far away and have it connected by a highway. Oh. As long as there's like road access to it, you could get to it. <gasps> underground cemetery that you scuba dive to? I don't think you can do it underground. <laughs> okay. What about we buy a little bit of, a little bit of land? Oh, a bit of real estate. Let's go. The prime real estate. And oh, is this where our waste plant is? Yeah. Okay, maybe not there. Oh, we could turn this island into the cemetery. Although I think it's a little small. You can always make it. Your own island too. Like you could just buy a plot of water and put an island on it. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Can I do that on the existing water? Yeah. As long as you, you can obviously like connect it to your city, because you'll need to build a road to it and stuff. So as long as it's, mm -hmm. you can connect it. We're gonna call it. It's gonna be right here. And you have two more plots to buy if you want. Just that. Hmm. What else shall we? 
Well, we might need to expand the industry soon. Oh, but we need more housing. But then no one wants to be near that waste plant. Although we could move that further down. Yeah, you can move it. Okay. Okay. All right, so I would like the cemetery to be here. <laughs> nice. So how do we build? The, the little shovel tool, yeah. Whoa! Okay. And then you got your terrain tools. So we've got shift, elevates or lowers, levels, all right. And Trees and bush oh, bushes. Oh, bushes. Strength and brush size as well on the little panel. I think it goes up. <gasps> oh, let's go! Yay! Oh, thanks, Avery. Thank you so much for the seven months. Bowser sends his regards. So lovely to see you and James and Bowsy. James just waved. Um, Yeah, I think so, Abby. They are around. We're a small village. Oh, so cool. You have more land you can buy now. You have four more bits of land. I'm not ready. It's happening too quickly. <laughs> okay, how do I get to that page... Oh, here. Okay. So, hmm. You get more roundabouts, so you get more sizes. Yeah, do you reckon? I, I, I'm just saying you could. I don't really know. Gas emergency battery station's very good. But you're just buying from other cities at the moment, so that's fine. Unless you start producing your own power, you probably don't need that. I thought we already placed a hospital. No, you placed like a medical clinic, so a hospital is bigger. Uh, Which you don't really need yet, so I wouldn't worry about that. Oh, incinerator plant. Recycling center. Oh, education. A college. Because uh, my my person was uneducated. Yeah, but you need a place. You already unlocked the elementary and high schools. Oh, I haven't even got those yet. Yeah, you do. You just unlocked it on the new level. So the college is the next level after that. Okay, we need to put in education, we need a cemetery. It's all happening very quickly, you guys. Okay, shovel. Let's do this. So, yeah, cemetery gonna Island. Uh, okay. You're gonna go really high. Oh. You might, yeah, just use a level tool. Okay. Wanna, maybe, do you want it up on a cliff? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's cool. Okay, so. How big is it? Yeah, that's the next thing we have to figure out. I guess it's medical cemetery. Oh, it's not big enough. Okay. Oops. Oh dear. Yeah. Uh. Okay. I guess I need to actually build more terrain, not just flatten it. So I need to like <coughs> put more around it, perhaps. Okay, I need to pause. You guys, it it's happening too quickly. Okay. Wow, <laughs> this is some place. Beautiful. I mean, I think this is really impressive. Uh, this is what the town's gonna be known for. Yeah, a weird. The, the mayor spent a billion dollars on an <laughs> island to put a cemetery on it. Yeah. It's not an island, it's a cliff island. Okay, let me put this. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. Wow. Oh. How do I have, rotate? Uh, in the panel on the left, next to the pin icon. Here, right there. Right click and drag to rotate. Okay. Maybe this way. Oh. Oh. Guys, stunning. That is stunning. Death Island. <laughs> Cemetery has its own currency. Incredibly talented. Thank you, Jacob. It's good to see you. Very talented. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to have to have a bridge, I suppose, uh, to here. All right. Test your road building skills. Maybe it should be a nice gravel road. Like 
Like, oh my god, have you been to Death Island? Death Island. It's such a beautiful gravel road. Oh, I need to grow up. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do... go up a lot to get up there. It's okay, that's why we're gonna get the curve tool. Okay. How high do you think this cliff uh, is? You... Whoa! Not that high. Like, if you rotate the camera down to get a better angle, you can see where you are. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. And then if you just set the elevation back to zero, then you can drag it over. I'd say I'm actually there quite a, a natural at this Look game. At that. Wow. That's so good, you guys. Now this is a city I'd love to live in. I know, right? Imagine, yes. you know, going for a nice drive to the world famous Death Island. Death Island. Okay, now we need some trees around here. Is that in the train area? Here we go. Oh, they're so little. They look so small. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so when you place the trees, that they're, they're young, and then they'll grow bigger over time. Oh great. Well, we'll just plant some. They, they kind of start as like sap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. That's really nice. There we go. Cool. All right, so we've got that. It's a little strange how it has that bit, but that's fine. Gives a character. It's a tourist destination. Well, I mean, obviously that's why we chose to invest so much into it because it will pay for itself. It's red and it. Oh. What is it unhappy about? It's trying to go a little too low at the end there. Oh, it's sunken down. So, there was a spot you could get your car from there. Maybe you can just bang out. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, no, right again. Hmm. Make sure to go that way. So just build a little bit where it lets you and then... <laughs> but it worked. No. It worked. <laughs> I fixed it. There we go. They call this the old death bend. Well, people people die on the way to the cemetery. It's actually really convenient. That's horrible. Well, you just go to the death bend. I didn't mean it like that. Well, it's kind of convenient because they're going there anyway. Oh my god. This is only okay because it's Halloween. Okay, so we go around yeah, there. It's a Halloween city. It's fine. All right. <laughs> and actually, look, it's, it's nice uh, scenic autumn drive. In game, which, you know, in the, in the US, it's autumn during Halloween. Oh, yeah. See, see, it's fine, you guys. Devil's Elbow. Yeah, there we go. All right. <laughs> now, what do we need next? Probably some education. All right, and there's plenty of edu education about the history of Death Island as well. <laughs> Abby said, James, convenient, I died, bury me there. <laughs> uh, you can put the crematorium by the curve. Yeah, that could actually sit over here quite nicely. <laughs> All right, schooling. We kind of need an education zone. Some more roads over there. Yeah, it's looking a little... Out of space. Plane. Okay, so let's think about this. The kids get picked up on the school bus. <gasps> what is this? Oh no, they're waiting for a, uh, one of those cars. Um. Well, there's going to be more residential area over here. So I actually think over here is a good spot for the school. You know. Maybe we, you can get there from this midtown area. And and it's going to have a lovely curve to it. Because mm. all of our roads do, don't they? 
Okay, so this is where our school's gonna be. Um. Okay, we'll put the school here. Near the landfill. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Wait, which way is the wind blowing? Uh, the wind blows this way. Oh, okay, that, that's a good thing. As long as the school's not getting oh, blown over by trash. Yeah, I didn't actually think about the landfill, how that um affects us. Okay, this is gonna be our school area. And you know what? These guys actually have a really great sneaky gravel road here. Ooh, lucky. It's a little shortcut. Only the locals know about it. <laughs> okay. Mom, I don't want to go to school. It smells like trash. Oh, that's so sad. And Malik, I'm really sorry to hear that. I'm gonna send lots of love in the chat. Um. And it has been an honor for them to watch my videos as well. But lots of love to the chat and to you as well. Main road. Only the locals know about it. Well. <laughs> yeah, it's like the one connection to, <laughs> to all the houses is like this tiny little dirt road. <laughs> well, usually they actually go this way is the thing. Okay, fine. We'll do another another road. Yeah, I like it. You like it? Yeah. Okay. Well, if James likes it, it we'll character. keep it. Actually, I don't know how big this school is, so we'll keep that here. So this is the elementary school. So we'll pop that just here on Park Street. Oh, where's the school? Oh, it's just down on Park Street. There's actually a dirt road you can... Uh, only the locals know about There's actually it. a secret way to get there. <laughs> there he is. Oh, look, they're immediately built. That's great. That's really nice. We need more trees. More trees, I tell you. Tree time. It's nice, it's different, it's special. Hmm. Uh, are you able to exit out of that pop-up? Yes. Sorry about that. Apologies for that, that little tidbit. I love that Bowser's snoring head like over your shoulder. Yeah, <laughs> it's like perfect positioning. Mm. Okay, I'd really love to actually build a park for the locals. You know? How can I do that, James? Well, you unlock parks like later. But do you have the pedestrian pathways yet? Oh no, I guess that's in parks, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, you have to you have to build a bit more. Because mm -hmm. you can sort of yeah. Have to unlock some more. Keep building. They want a lot of residential, so you get some more people in. All right, we need more residential. Let's go. People heard about the dirt road and they want to move in. Mm. Well, there's this really weird thing where dirt roads, for some reason, have become like a really expensive thing to live on in uh, areas further south of, of Melbourne. Like, I don't know, the dirt road makes the real estate go up and it's so impractical, but it's like people want to live on the dirt roads near the beach wild so we're gonna do some dirt road residential area you've got the little vegetation tutorial there oh they can be used to decorate your city okay there's themes there's tool mode cool well we're so clever we already figured that out <laughs> oh and then we should do more coastal area down to the waste plant we better not yeah, go too far around the Poop pipe. It's all red. It's like danger zone. Do not build here. <laughs> Pop down from Turak and head to the local school via the dirt road. Yes. We'll do like a little nice roundy bit. They love the dirt roads. Does that happen in other countries? Where dirt roads are like the thing everyone wants to live on? I'd say that I want to live in a well, my mom and stepdad lived on a dirt road and it got flooded because the gutters couldn't handle the rainfall. So I know first, we know that there can be 
troubles with them, even though they're very beautiful. <laughs> I agree with uh, a little bit of life saying the shape is interesting. Look, I wasn't going to say anything, but... I really like it. It's very, it's, it's very organic. I feel like it's really <laughs> yeah, it's going with... It's very natural, you know? It is very natural. Free-flowing. It is. Oh my gosh, we have medium density housing now. You're gonna build those on the dirt road. Uh, probably doesn't make much sense. <laughs> okay, this is where we're gonna put all of our, you know, regular residential stone. AF, your city looks creative, Delhi. That is very sweet. Oh, that did the terrain thing. That actually looks really cool though. Um. Someone asked if you get to make characters in this game. You don't, but you can, like, if you find a citizen you like, you can, like, follow them. You can also rename them, give them your own name, so in a way you could sort of, I guess, create the family, and then you can follow them, see where they live and where they work, and, you know, you can get kind of like that. But you don't, you don't directly create them. Whee! Oh, yeah, there's cliff houses. You can see how, because it's close to the water, it's not there. I kind of don't mind it though. Oh, okay. I feel like if we put some trees around it, well, that's fine. If you like it, it you could like look it. very if fashionable. If you like it, you like it. If you like it, you like it. <laughs> I love seeing the little cranes. It gets me so excited. Like, it's building. Things are happening. I don't even need. Are those just it's low down city housing? Is it? Yeah, they just build everything by cranes. <laughs> yeah, why they have cranes for everything? It's like. Tiny little house. We'll bring in the crane. I know, like, this <laughs> tiny town is like the most inefficient place ever. <laughs> yeah. They're like, let's bring in the cranes. Let's get 50 cranes in town. Let's go. <laughs> James needs to get a mic. Yeah, we need a. Maybe we should get an extra mic for this office. Although you guys can hear him, can't you? I know it's not like pristine audio, but you can hear what he's saying. Okay, where are we gonna put our mid density? Well, maybe near the school. Oh, that's a good idea. You mm. could try the new the grid road tool. That's a new tool in Cities too. That's a grid tool. Oh, like next to your curves. Uh, that one. Ooh. So it'll automatically just build a grid for you as you click and drag it out. Dirt roads? If you want it. Whatever road you want. Okay, you do one side and then you, sort of, and then you do the other. Oh, oh, it didn't work up here. Is it connected to the road? Yeah, no. it's connected. Yeah. No, oh, that's a really great tool. Yeah, so that's near in the city too. Oh, it can connect it to our roundabout. There you go. Wow. It's just a, if you want to quickly build like a bunch of blocks, you can do it that way. Yay. Oh my gosh, our city's getting so big now. Caitlin, welcome to Pancakes. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you enjoy your bonus videos as well. Delhi, the people are begging for better healthcare. I just built them a... I just built them some healthcare. They'll be fine. But they need a hospital? Nah. The healthcare looks fine. Is it like, are you saying like the little pop-ups on the side? Sometimes they just pop up saying... Well, they do actually want a crematorium. So you don't need it because you've got the cemetery. But it's in the red. It's just because you don't have it. Oh, okay. You just need, so it's like the death care, so you either need cemetery or crematorium. Or both. You don't have to have both. Okay. Elizabeth, welcome to the pancakes. Thank you so much. Welcome. May you have wonderful pancakes forever and ever and ever. Um, so you did, <laughs> you did do the death record for the big buildings. Yeah, well, it's kind of a bespoke. I'm excited to it's see. It's like big city in a rustic aesthetic. Yeah, it's got a bit of a rustic vibe. Yeah, people really love it. Bring in the cranes. Bring in the, well, those probably do need cranes, to be fair. Um, but thanks, Elizabeth. Enjoy the bonus videos and welcome to the Deligracy member fam. And Chantel, thank you so much for the donation. Good morning from the UK. Hope you're doing great. Aw. Thanks, Chantal. Hope you're having a lovely morning in the UK. You must be up early. What time is it in the UK? It's 2 a.m. <laughs> you are up early. 
Good morning. I'm probably more likely late. Yeah. Assume? Yeah, it's probably like, good evening. Waiting for a hearse. Despite one having been called quite some time, it, James, they need more Death Island hearses. Uh, no, don't worry about that. Okay. Because it, it just takes time, because it, so they sort of send it out from the cemetery. It just takes time. Okay, I want to go stalk our, um, our Gould. Where were, where were they living? Near the commercial district. Over here. Was yeah, it one this of the, house? One of the, I think it was that one, yeah. See if they're still there. The Gould family, yes. But annoyingly, like, you can't find her directly. <sighs> I want to find you? them. Like, how do you... you should have followed her when you had the chance. I know. But to be fair, I didn't really know about that. We need a new friend to follow. Gould's lost it. She's out. Whoa. What about this? Who's that? Perkins family, Orson. Nah, I don't, nah, I don't I'm not feeling I'm not awesome. Like <laughs> Cynthia Riley. Oh, I like that name. Oh, sorry, Ridley. Cynthia Ridley. Uh, Although they're not particularly happy. Uh, around. If you don't like them, if you don't like the city, the man doesn't care about you. Next. Okay. Only happy people, please. Oh, who's this? They look quite jolly. Randy, <laughs> happy. Oh, they're a child. Well, we can't follow a child around. Uh, Linda, sad, poor. Uh, how do I help you? Moving in job levels. Uh, it's calculated by adding up each member's income and in the net worth. I mean, do we need more local commercial business maybe? Okay, well, I will try to prepare more jobs. That's what we need. Maybe in another shopping district. Yeah, somewhere. yeah, let's develop. Let's develop. Elizabeth, thank you so much for gifting a Deligracy membership. Aw, Chantel was gifted a membership. That's so sweet, Elizabeth. Thank you. Um, so Chantel, enjoy the gift. Enjoy the vids. Okay, commercial. I mean, we could expand on this area and make it bigger. Or... We could build some more commercial near the school. Or you could buy a new land and build somewhere else. Whoa. Like you can build anywhere on the map by buying a piece of land. But you could just, like if you go somewhere else on the map on, on the highway, like follow the highway and build, like you just build, buy a plot of land and build somewhere else. Over there? I don't know, or even further. Oh, the away. land doesn't have to connect? Nah, you can just buy a oh. plot of land. Oh. That's what's cool. So you couldn't do that in the first game. So the bottom left one. Yeah. So um, you can buy anywhere on the map. Wow. Okay, well let's <clears throat> let's have a commercial area over here. We're developing everyone. Cool. We we bought a lot. But uh, we Oh, I didn't mean to click there. Oh well. I, I think you've selected too many. You can't you don't have that many. Oh. You have four. Yeah, four. There you go. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you got like, a little bit like, excited. You're like, I'm going shopping. <laughs> 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 oh. I got really excited for our yeah. shopping district. Okay, so we're going to... What's going on over here? Oh, more hearse needed. What's happening here? Oh my god. Is someone... Are they stealing you, money? Stealing, uh... Wait, wait, wait. What is happening? Not enough customers. You need more, so you need more residential. More resident. Yes, so, okay, fine. Wait, place a bunch of houses on the dirt road area there. That you haven't cleaned in yet. Uh, which? Oh, this area. No, the organic no. area. Here. Yeah, all of that's not done yet. Well, I bring you customers. You want customers? Organic. I get you, customers. The organic. Yeah. Well, That's what when, it says on the sign. When we can do the districts and stuff, it's going to be called organic. Oh, cool. All right, we need to build more roads over here. Does this automatically save? Uh, I think it does have an auto save, but maybe hit save anyway. Let's save. I think actually auto save might be off by default because I think it. Yeah. That's fine. Probably a good idea. <laughs> 
Good night, Chantel. Thank you so much for um, your generosity today. Hope you sleep well. And enjoy the membership too. Yeah, enjoy. Cha-ching. That's so cool you can buy the land like that. Yeah, that is cool. So we're gonna need some electricity here. Yeah, Let's do some high... roads first. Oh, actually. Oh yeah, you have to do a transformer over here. Yeah. Because highways, uh, so roads will have the pipes and power lines through them, but highways do not. So. Holy, I forgot that grid was on, but. Holy moly. I'm not mad about it. Overlapping items. Yeah, you're mean? running into the power lines. Yeah. Okay, let's turn off the grid. <laughs> yeah, that might be a bit much. Look how good I am getting at this game. Slay! Slay! Queen! Sorry, that's cringe, but it's just how I feel. I like having, you know, roads. I like a grid. I feel like a grid is quite practical. <laughs> You're probably going to connect it to the other side of highway too. Otherwise, they can only go one direction. <laughs> What do you mean? Oh. oh. It all just goes one way. There you go. Like, later on, you probably want to do like an interchange, but for now, that'll be fine. Yeah, James is so advanced with this that he like has this amazing workflow with roads and stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't it's worry about cool. it because the city's not that big, so it won't, it won't really be a problem. So far, it looks like CS2 incorporated many of their top mods best features. Oh yeah, so there's, in the uh, City Skylines 1, there were mods for the game where you could get like different styles of buildings and... Basically anything. <laughs> yeah, basically anything. So yeah. There's also that whole world to it too, but it can become very detailed. I'm very like on surface level. Yeah, and the mods for City Skylines 2 will be coming soon because they're using the new mod platform. No, it's not out yet, but it should be out soon. Yeah. I'm excited for mods in, uh, in this game. Holy moly, there's yeah. so much commercial. So you do need to make sure you get the power there and, and water. Whoa! Rock Musician Mansion! Oh. Oh my gosh. So signature buildings, those are new in City Skylines too. So they're basically like, you just, you you know, pick it and you place it once, but um, they will also count for zoning. So that's, I think, a resi residential building. So people will actually still live there and use it as a, as a house. That's so cool. We're definitely gonna build that. But first we need electricity. Okay, so we need to get a transformer station. There. And then we need to get. Uh, it's already all connected. Oh, yeah. You said it, yeah, you're good. How good? Um, Do they yeah. need water? Yes, and waste. Which actually, because you're not connected to the other side, you're gonna have to build new ones. Because you can't build a pipe through land you don't own. That's okay, we got money. But you don't own that. You can't build Oh. That. You have a bit of water there. You probably wanna do a water tower or a ground pumping station just because you have to put sewage right in the water there too. Hmm. The water tower is more expensive. But the pump, uh, wait, if you do the pumping station, do you have any water, ground water there? Because you need ground water for that, I think. Oh, you do? Oh my gosh! That's handy, so you can just pop, pop it in the middle of that and then have it, just make sure to connect it all up. How good. Let's just get a road. Oh, yeah, it can connect by a road. Yeah, so that requires the ground water, the water tower doesn't. That's why the water tower is more expensive, but you can put it anyway. How good. <clears throat> All right, and then we just need some waste management. <gasps> Whoa, Large village, you guys! Whoa. On Devil's Elbow. <laughs> Devil's Elbow. This just reminds me of my city with a million stoplights on the highway. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, yeah. I don't know. 
I want to get this now it isn't as hard as I thought it was. I think if you just like... I think, th look, this game can be as hard as you want it to be or as easy as you want it to be. It kind of just depends what you want to do. Yeah. Oh, farming. <gasps> Mining. Yeah, so that's cool. You can build like specific uh, industry areas and stuff. We can have a look at them in a minute. Yeah, it just, it opens up and becomes so detailed. And like James said, you can make it as hard as you want. Yeah, you can just keep it simple. You don't have to do all that stuff. You need the sewage pipe for them. Wait, I'm having a mental blank. Water? Water, that's the one. Okay. So I need to get this outlet over yeah, here. That's so sad. You don't own that land. Oh. <laughs> Keep forgetting. Cool. But they should be good now. Let's see the poo poos run. Yay! There they go. <laughs> the poo poos. All right, so we're all set up here. What do I mean by be as easy? I mean, you don't have to like make things work like you, like for example here like jelly hasn't done like a complex interchange to the highway just done an intersection like you don't have to get, like spend hours building stuff if you don't want to yeah james like zooms in and he's like all right i'm gonna put like this here and that there yeah like in city Skylines like, one there's like a mod where you could paint each road line individually for example and do all that kind of stuff holy moly so, like, it, i swear city skylines has taught you about like road development and infrastructure. Cause whenever we drive places, you're like, why did they design the roads <laughs> like this? <laughs> yeah, where in reality, the real world is a bit different from a video game. There's usually a reason because you can't, you don't have unlimited money and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay, let's make a farming district. You could even buy land far away again. You've got more land tiles. Oh my lord. Well, actually, if you go, in the in in go to the industry tab. Um. Yeah. This one? Uh, oh, actually, I think it's the, is it the last one now? So. Ooh, specialized industry. Yeah, so actually, this shit, so those little zones show you what you can put where. Oh. So, the, yeah, the yellow ones are fertile land, which is good for farming. But I suppose that, what's the first, what's the farm you've got now? Uh, uh, I haven't really fully played with this system yet. Like, what's the first farm that you would use? Oh, um, livestock? I see that, does that need fertile land? Probably not. Doesn't even. I don't think so. It doesn't I say it I does. I wouldn't imagine so. Because that would probably be fair or something. So I think you can put that. Yeah, one grain farming needs oh, fertile okay, so land. Yeah, cool. So yeah, I guess just pick where you want to do some livestock. Hmm. Well, maybe we should think about so if you, what land has. Maybe escape out of this so you can have a look at the map again. Yeah. But I want to see where I have fertile land. Well, aren't you doing livestock farming? Yeah, but then it will grow. Yeah, but you can build that later, though. Yeah, but I want to have it all in the one area. Ah, okay. See, I'm thinking ahead. I'm Whoa. a forward planning city planner. Oh, your rockstar mansion. Oh, wait, we need to hold up on the farm because this is way more important. <laughs> <laughs> this one house. So actually, yeah, so if you hover, what does it say about it? It says, a famous rockstar lives in this mansion when not on tour, plus two well-being within 500 meters. So mm. anyone living near it gets more well-being. So where are those sad people living? Well, there. <laughs> Imagine building this mansion next to, like, first of all, demolishing their houses, and next to the people that aren't happy. Like, here, here's a, a rock, a mega rich rock star. Does that make you happy? <laughs> I'm so happy now that I live next to this rock star. <laughs> um, I mean, is this red? Because they're not very happy. Uh, well, what does it, that say? Uh, generally good areas for residential zones in terms of workplace and city service. Okay, yeah, so they're red because that's commercial area, so it's a bit louder, so they don't want to live right next oh, to Oh, I, I get it, I yeah. get it. Okay. Well, can, why don't they live, like, right next to Death Island? You can if you want. Is there room there? You could live on the little island near it. Oh, that's where our crematorium might go, though. Where would the rock star want to live? Right? What about right in the middle of all of these houses? <laughs> <laughs> You'll make everyone really happy. They'll love it. There you they go. will love it. Do like a little alleyway up to it or something. I'm sorry, you guys. Your house has to be knocked down for this but celebrity. You'll love it. You'll love it. I know you got to move out, but you'll love it. But it's a great service for uh, the city. Yeah, you're too, you're too close. 
Yeah, no. I didn't think that connected there. Yeah. Oh, it did. Wait, uh... it like demolished all of those houses. <laughs> <laughs> Look how many it demolished. All those ones with the symbols. Like, sorry guys, the rock stars here now. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but trust me, you're gonna love it, okay? <laughs> Oh no! We just like made all these poor people's houses get demolished for this one rock star. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh well, worth oh well. it. They'll love it. They'll love Toss. it. Look, and they just like live in the center, like oh, look at royalty. Look, I'm gonna the other houses if you just escape. And like rotate the camera oh down. Look at the scale of that house compared to the others. You guys will love it though. I think you'll love They're it. They're really into celebrities in this town. Oh, I can't even fit a tree in here because I built it so close to the other homes. <laughs> My gosh. Hey, Ron, how you doing? Uh, did Deli cut her hair? I did! Still deciding if I should go shorter, like above shoulder. I think I have a feeling it would look really good above shoulder. It's just hard to imagine there. Oh, we can at least put some bushes around it. Oh, that's so funny that they give you this rock star home as like your first house. <laughs> Our electricity production is not meeting demand, so we're forced to import some. Yeah, that's that's the point. That's what you've been doing the whole time. Why are they telling you that now? Maybe they're trying to say we'd like our own electricity. But you got a rock star. What do you need electricity for? Cut it short now because you've already gone shorter. Yeah, like why not go shorter? We've already gone short. Don't grow it out and then cut it again. Trust me, I've been there. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, now, what about them chimkins? Them chimkins. Well, oh wait, do we have the? the can we the build our houses control? again back here? The what? Oh yeah, you need to rezone that. Okay. We have to knock down your house for access to build this huge yeah, mansion. Well, we I have mean, to get it, all the machinery it's for the in. Good. You guys will like it, but it's no. for the cranes we needed. <laughs> and um, now we will rebuild. <laughs> yeah, as I said, you have the district tool now. The second icon. Ooh. One. Well, the areas it's called now. So we can name that place organic oh. and draw out an area. Oh, wow. Yeah. You might want to read it because it has changed. So I don't totally know how it works. You can adjust any specialized industry area after it has been oh, wait, created. Is oh, wait, have you industry, not... yeah. Oh, wait, what's the first one that's locked? Have we not got that yet? No, you can adjust any specialized industry oh. as well. Oh, hang on. Okay. Except that. Oh, what's the first one? Oh, yeah, so we Great don't have city it city district. That's the one that I, I'm thinking of. We have to get to level four. All right, we've got to get Chimkins for that, then. Oh, Leanne loves the education. Oh, I thought you going to say she loves the Rockstar house. <laughs> <laughs> I love our new celebrity that lives here, like, once every three years for one month. It was worth having us move out and rebuild. I was happy to <laughs> knock down my house. I like this little uh, street. Mm, yeah, it's, it's very organic nice. looking. Well, it's not in the organic area, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, like if you want to try short, don't wait until you spend. Oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your deli sim will need a haircut. True. True. All right, let's let's farm. Let's get farming, folks. Uh, I want to buy some land. Well, hang on. Why don't you try to see where where to go first? Yes, <laughs> that's right. So the third one, was it? Yeah, that one. Oh, no. No, no. It was in there, and then it was the last one. Yeah, right. Like, I'm not fully familiar with this game yet. All right, so the yellow will be for later farm, mm. for the growing stuff. Mm. Oh, that's quite a big chunk over there. There's a road out there, though. You kind of need somewhere that's already connected, or you have to buy a bunch of land to be able to connect it all. I see. Well, there's a road here. Yeah, so you could go there. This could be a good... Yeah, I think he is. But good. remember, anywhere you build, you'll have to do power, water, sewage again if it's not connected to your, your city. Yeah, that's fine. I uh, got do you currency. Have sewage, inline sewage. Or I guess you could buy the water like, tile there. Yeah, I'll buy some water. Fine. It, it'll Sounds be good. fine. Hey, 
Hey. Oh, so wait, back that over little here. triangle area there. Yeah. Oh yeah. So if you get that one and then the couple around it, you have five pieces you can buy. This is gonna be our farm area. You didn't buy it. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to it. confirm. My bad. Hey. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Purchase. Okay. Then we get our special chicken. Chimkin? So. What is it? Road required. That's all right, you can build it up. Yeah, you, the, the circle around it is how big it can be. Oh, I see. So you're building. Oh. Okay. You just place it without any land. So if now you go to the, that area tool. No, no, no. In the second one. Now you can adjust this one, right? Hmm? Yeah, there you go. Hover over the back where the farmland is. Oh. You can drag and add nodes to it and make it bigger. You can sort of shape it how you want it to be. It's our one little farm. Might as well make it big. You can go as big as the circle. All right, let's make it big. Oh, well, you can't go past your city. Order. Right. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. <laughs> right along the border here. Mm -hmm. This farm is is very exciting for Deliville. Um big, Deliville making big moves here. Yeah, especially the organic area. They yeah, always they wanted that. an organic farm. Mm, handy. So yeah, this is very exciting. It's gonna provide a lot of jobs for folks. Yes, yeah, so we're very excited about the I recent think development. A, one single farm has that many jobs, does it? Oh yeah. Uh, well, yeah, in real life, but I don't know if this does. Delhi knows best. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. And we'll have a dirt road. What? This is funny. You love your dirt roads. I do. I do. Is this a train line right yeah, here? Yeah. So you want to cross the train line and go to the highway. Yeah. Doesn't want to connect. Oh, is it red on the other side? Exceeds city limits. Wait, what? Where's your city limit? Over there. It's not exceeds city. What? Hmm. Maybe just because of the way it's intersecting, it's kind of like. Oh, this. Oh my gosh, this is totally flabbleeky style. Look at that merge. What? It's a two way road, so look how sharp the left turn is from the dirt road. Holy moly. <laughs> They're gonna be like, Nyo. yeah, trying to turn on that road is gonna be so but hard. But we need a, a nice little merge lane. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. They're like, Nyo. <laughs> that'll do. Problem solved. All right. Yeah, that's Maybe good. Water and power and all that kind of stuff out here. That looks really good. Look out for the train. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the train too. Flawless. Uh, so, you know, when we skill up, we would be very good at, you know, making sure this all makes sense, uh, which it doesn't. I, I'm just going to leave it. Hope yeah, for the best. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Loving this. You're all making me smile today. Oh, I'm glad. It is fun. Ah, citizen happiness increase. That's probably from the celebrity. <laughs> okay, water. Water pump. Well, no, we, let's do a water tower. Yeah, because you'll need to. Uh, but here. Then we need a sewage outlet over here. Downstream. I'm getting so good at this game. Look at it go. Okay, they've got poo poo solved, good. Ah, look at the poo poo's go. Then the water needs a pipe. <gasps> oh. Lara, sweet. Residents will enjoy the atmosphere of this smooth, luxurious building. Mm. Okay, we gotta build that too. Can this just run yeah. through the farm? Yeah. Uh, 
Emperor. Yeah, there you go. Oh. It's beautiful. Okay, electricity. What are the pros of a water tower in this scenario? Well, because we have to do the sewage pipe just next to, if we had a water pump in the water, uh, it would probably just suck up the poo-poo back into the water, so. Yeah. Uh, I need a transformer. Yeah, I just remembered. <laughs> That should have everything it needs now. Does that connect properly? Mm -hmm. Yay! So that should be all functional now. The Chimkin Farm. The Chimkin Farm is here. Oh, look at that. Having thought about it, probably shouldn't have built the livestock farm on the fertile land. It wasn't that for the other farm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Whoops. <laughs> We're gonna have very fertile Chimkins. Traffic accident. <gasps> Say where it is. Oh no. To make accent clearance as efficient as possible, make sure your city has these services available. Uh, don't have either of them. We do have healthcare. Don't we have, have healthcare. Don't have police or fire. Is okay. the accident on this new connection right here? Probably. <laughs> Wait, is it? Does navigate to NSQB. Where's this accident? No, it doesn't look like it's no, there. No, it's a, on the, the top left, the info button. Does navigate to fire and rescue or something to say so that, that one. Go back over to the city, because it'll probably be over there somewhere. There might be an icon for it, I don't know. I've not had this yet, so I don't know. Well, that's the commercial area. Uh, any... hmm, I don't know. Well, we do need to get a fire department and uh, police, so... Yeah, oh, what's this? No pedestrian access. Well, I mean, there he is, so that's your own fault game. <laughs> you can walk there, you'll be fine. Okay. Waiting for a hearse. They're always waiting for a hearse. Yeah. Well, look, Death Island's far away. It right? is. <laughs> it It's worth it. It's right. worth the well, trouble. Let's get some police and some fire. Maybe near the school. Oh my god, look at the parking over there. From the, all those big buildings, everyone's parking has to park on the street. Oh wow. <laughs> and like all down that other road over there. We can actually unlock parking lots. Oh, maybe we should get some parking as well. Yeah. There's so much to do. Yeah, there's a lot. Watching you play City Skylines is so much fun. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, we've got the fire place. We get a police station. I had to go to the police station the other day because I lost my handbag. Did you arrested? Oh. No, because I lost my <laughs> handbag and uh, this lovely lady. Not handed easy. it in. Yeah. Okay. That was you, that was so lucky. Um, and I tracked it with my... Because the police station didn't call me. I could see where my bag was because I left um, my headphone case in it so I could track it. Um, excellent, we got a fire station. Beautiful. Will that just help out? Mm, it's quite cute. Aww. Okay. Do we have a look at um, some upgrades to the city? Because you got six upgrade points. Yeah, we should do some upgrades. Okay, I think we need parking. Here we go. Let's unlock that. And then... What else are you feeling? Do you have bigger roundabouts? Mm. I feel like you always mention the roundabouts. Well, just because you really like them. I do like roundabouts. Let's get a roundabout. <laughs> I just thought you might like it. <laughs> and then... Yeah, so as your city develops um, and is successful, you get upgrade points to then unlock new things. Or you can play with everything unlocked too. Fire Watchtower. Welfare Office. Police Headquarters. I don't know, I'm kind of into the education. Ooh, the hospital. Hospital. Okay. Okay. We don't really need that yet. Because the city, you only have how many people? Control Z. Control Z. You have 1,300 people, you don't really need the hospital. That's okay, you'll use it eventually. 
I'm very into healthcare. All right, so there's a parking lot. Oh yeah, that new building. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh. Four plus well-being within a kilometer. Okay, let's place this like. People wow. are gonna love this place. That's wow. Cool. We're going high rise, people. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's right near the schooler. Well. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> you don't have the parking lot? They need some parking over here. I do have a parking lot. Roundabouts. Oh, Whoa, gonna... we're gonna get some nice roundabouts so in here. Holy moly. Whoa. Overground parking? Well, that's a parking lot. On the dirt road. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not on the dirt road. I mean, parking lot near the schools? Not a bad idea. And like, it's just so funny because you have 1,300 people living here and that's the parking lot. <laughs> well, large parking lot. How about that? Because it's so annoying when schools don't have enough parking. <laughs> I refuse to have a city with my name with not enough parking. <laughs> I need a dirt parking lot though. Actually, yeah, they should have that. That'd be good. Nice little gravel parking lot. Whoa, let's go! Every time this pops up, I get such a... I get so many endorphins, I'm just like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! We just got a million... Monies. Yeah, that's why I was like, I don't think you need to worry about Ooh. the money too much because. Ooh. Okay. Sweet. Oh yeah, so you have do you have the uh, the district tool now? We we're talking about it earlier. So you can like name and do different rules for areas. Oh yeah, you do. <sighs> Okay, cool. district so time. Yeah, you, might want to read that. you can create different types of neighborhoods or specialize in areas for a specific use with the district tool. Districts let you assign policies and city services to only be in effect inside the district. Cool. You can create and adjust the borders, snapping. Okay. Creating a district. Create the district border with the nodes. Okay, let's make organic district. Now, it's very exclusive. So, it's this area. Uh, yeah, we should make the house. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oops. It's right there, right? Like, if you're in organic district, you're very lucky. The rocks are. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, everybody wants to live in organic district. Washington Glade? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Yeah, how do I name it? Uh, just get out of this tool. And then click on it. Yeah. <sighs> organic town. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, no, no. It should have like a one word name like Organica. Organica. Organicas. Organa Casa. Organa Casa. Okay, what can we do here? Energy consumption awareness. Okay, these are all locked. Yeah, so later on you can add all that stuff. Mm, ooh, speed bumps. It's cool because it also tells you how many people live there and all that kind of stuff. They're quite comfortable here. Okay. Love that. Organa Casa. Okay, we need to make Death Island too. <laughs> Death Island. <laughs> Maple Ridge. <laughs> Definitely organic. Death Island. Casa. What should we call this area? Hmm. Does anyone have any ideas for this try-hard organic area? <laughs> the try-hard. 
It's like they tried to get into a Ganekaza, but they couldn't. They couldn't afford it. They tried, but it didn't happen. Maybe move the poop away from organic. <laughs> yeah, oh, actually, yeah, that's a probably a good idea. Meadowcrest, that's the default name. Um, the sea squiggle. <laughs> that's cute. Sea squiggle. It's the squiggle? Squiggle. Squiggle. Ocean Lane. War Wormville. <laughs> Squiggleville. Well, actually, no, the whole place is called Deliville, though. Squiggle Town. Squiggle. Squiggle Bay. Squiggle Bay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Squiggle Bay. I really like that we can name all the areas. <laughs> I, I want this little spot to be its own, its own little spot, you know? It'd be called the appendage. The appendage? Yeah, it's like a little appendage. What's an appendage? Something to stick now. Oh. Is that why it's called an appendix? Yeah, because it's just sort of... Hmm. Pasta noodle. Pasta noodle. That's cute. It's the noodle. All right. Does anyone else just praise hashtag the sun? Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need offices. <sighs> oh yeah, we've got offices. Office rooms. Low density office. Oh my. Well, let's do the offices over here. Yeah, so office, people don't mind living near offices because they're not like loud, like commercial. Mm. So. This can be our office area. Do, 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 do. Nice. Um, I was typing Squiggle Bay when you said it. So great. I love Squiggle Bay. <laughs> the, the appendix. <laughs> I think the pasta noodle is cute. Okay, just tuned in, love your videos. Welcome. Welcome. I love, I love Squiggle Bay. I'd probably live in Squiggle Bay, like even though I know everyone's all about Organicaza. Um, you know, Squiggle Bay isn't snobby, like a kind of casa is, so Organicaza. And like, I don't want my house to be bulldozed to make room for celebs, you know? New area can be corporate row. Mm. Uh, it's quarter to two here for me. Okay, so we've got the office space. What else are they wanting? They really want high density residential. They want more industrial. See, this is what we planned for. I knew this would happen. I knew our industry would grow very quickly. And it has, it really has. I think it would be so funny to make like the worst city in this game too. Yeah. Like just a terrible, terrible city. You can do city. some pretty funny things. Yeah. Um, we probably can leave that industrial open. Okay, so we just need more, we need high density residential, I think. Oh, we ha we can't even unlock that yet, though. There's a demand for it, but we can't do it. No, is that, wait, there's another one before it? Low rent housing. Wait, so what do you have demand for? I think the dark green is high density What's residential. the third one that you have on it? Medium density. Yeah. But I can't get the high. Is that medium? Is that what? No, because it's a third bar down. They want high density, but I can't do it. Oh. 
<gasps> Grain farming and forestry is here. Ooh. Um, How much skill would have to go into making the worst city that just doesn't go bankrupt and die? A lot of skill, I think. Oh, low income is also high density. Okay. Oh, okay. So... Well, maybe we should do that. We rent housing. Well, let's do that near the school so it's easy to get to. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it is going down. It's right near the schools. Easy to get to. Near the parking as well. Near the fancy schmancy building. Beautiful. And then they want medium density as well. Small apartment buildings. Hmm. Sounds quite nice. Can go along the school area. Okay. Okay. Farm time. Dang it. We built our farm all over. the section where we could build our farmland. <laughs> oh, parks and recreation! Yes, we can make Ooh, parks! Woohoo! Small plaza. <gasps> a sandbox and slide. A dog park! Okay, we need dog parks. Oh my gosh. Dog parks. I'm so excited. You can still adjust your livestock if you want to rearrange it. Oh, that's good. You guys know a lot about this game already. I guess it's not that hard to know more than what I know. <laughs> I'm gonna make a dog park along the coast here. Wait, are you gonna change Organicaza? Well, Organicaza does want a dog park, so. There won't be an Organicaza if you build out there. Well, it's slightly out of Organicaza. Oh, yes, that's not as good. It is as good. It says Organic Cart, sir. <laughs> Honey, that's the it's meanest right thing you... It's right by the poop pipe. Look, it's the poop pipe. Oh, wait, I don't want the dogs near the poop pipe. Well, we're going to move that. Move the poo pipe because I don't want that anywhere near the dogs. Oh, we can upgrade this actually. Mm. What are the upgrades we can do? Um, we can get chemical purification oh. to reduce the amount of pollutants. Oh, just reduce it. Just it. And then we can also get an extra settling tank. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Uh, so, so, yeah, in the panel on the top left, you can move it. Top left? Yeah, the little. Oh, oh, you just closed it. Yeah, there you go. All the way over here. And then we need to get rid of the pipe. Well, I'll just extend the pipe out to the. Water. Thank you. Sounds <laughs> 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 like you're having fun. It's kind of addictive after a while. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna. Ganekaza was not into the sewage being there, which is fair. Oh, I was so hoping for parks, but I did not think we would get a dog park right on the coast. Beautiful. Aww. Yeah, small park here. Oh. It's beautiful. I feel like we need maybe a house near this area, uh, a park near this area. Like a playground. Oh yeah, the roads are like so red without art there. That's good that you did that. Oh, I know. I'm a pro at this game. You're like, you're like so pro. That's right. People call me. Uh. Del Progressy. <laughs> Del Progressy, yeah. yeah. You're overlapping the park. Well, that's a big road. You 
running right into the school. Okay, they can go to the little park down here. Beautiful. Signature dirt road. Um, can you ask James about City Skylines series? We are still waiting. Oh, I don't know. I don't think James has plans to. We already spoke about that earlier. I yeah. Said, um, yeah, I want to play. Uh, I don't know when though. He doesn't know exactly when, but he will play at some point. I think we need some bigger roundabouts. Well, good thing you got them. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Holy moly. What was actually, that car doing? Actually, yeah, look how much traffic is on that road, by the way. Okay, this is when you start... You might need to upgrade the roads. Make them bigger. Yeah. This is when it starts getting really detailed and I don't know how to do it. Well, if you go to the roads and get a bigger one, you can swap out the roads. Whee! Oops, I just deleted heaps of buildings. So if you go back to the road section, well, you can then use the yeah, like that one, and if you do the swapping tool next to the grid button, some of them you won't have room because you've got buildings there, but some of the roads you'll be able to upgrade. Like this one? Just yeah. So when when you if you move your mouse around, you'll see it sort of upgrades in different positions. So you get, see how it's like going? It's, oh, it goes to the side. Yeah, so that's what happened on your bridge earlier on. You're choosing which lane to focus on. So just make sure if you're upgrading a whole section. Can you hold shift? Does that work? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's with shift. This well, van's really no, confused. No, no, like if you hold shift, does it do the whole segment of road? Mm. Like zoom out? No. No. I wonder if there's a way to do the whole road. There you go. I think you need a roundabout right here. <laughs> Roundabouts fix everything. Oh, I won't put one in. Because if I rebuild a bit of a road, because it's like kind of. Mm. Uh oh. What? What's that? Traffic jam. The flow's bad here. Yeah, look, I'm not surprised. Uh oh. The forest is on fire! Oh no. Oh, is it over there? Left. Oh, there it is. Oh, well. I have a fire brigade. Yeah, is there anything in How do you even do that? Because, like, I don't know. I guess we'll just leave it. You'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll just get the industrial area. Yeah, it'll oh, be fine. Oh, that's a worry. We'll just get the. Oh my gosh, look at all the pollution. <laughs> Jeez and whiskers. I rent. If someone said you can click and drag to do the whole road upgrade, that's how you do it. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Thank you. I wasn't trying to do that. The main road into town is pretty small. You can upgrade that maybe. From this highway with a lot of roundabouts? <laughs> you got so many roundabouts. Why is that first one even a roundabout? Oh, yeah, you can just drag it off. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's good. Wee. It was, oh. it was, it was, yeah, it was kind of intersecting, so it kind of. Yeah, you can go back a bit. There was a spot you could do it. Oh, that one works. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Oh, well. You probably don't need to upgrade that road, do you? Because isn't that just going. Oh, it's going to be industrial. It seems like. Are we getting much traffic up to Death Island? Because we put so. a lot of fun I don't think into anyone this. can make it. I think they crash before they get there. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the horses never arrive in the rest of the city. Oh my gosh. We need a roundabout there. Daily playing makes me want to get this game too. Well, there is a link up the top if you are interested. Yeah, check the uh, pinned chat message or in the description. There we go, just to make it even more fun. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, Oh my god, wait, you put it on the bridge there. You can! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. We should call it Roundabout Bill. Hi, 
Hey, just joined. Hey, Abby, how you doing? Well, we can always change the name of your city whenever you want. True. Get to level five grand village. How's our demand going? Industrial. Ooh, public trans. Oh my gosh, now we're getting really into it. Public transportation. Oh lord. Yeah, James, when I've seen James play the first game, he's like, um, what do you do? You like, say I have a train here and the train goes here and they carry the coal or something. Are you talking about, am I talking about a different game? Am I getting confused? Yeah, maybe. Oh, okay, my bad. But what I did in the first game is you do have the train and then at the train station you want to make sure there's buses or like trams so then you can like connect the rest so they can get the train to get a train. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, maybe we do need a bus depot. What do you guys think? Do we need it? Of course we need it. We need everything. Delhiville has everything. Well, you need a lot more industrial. Okay. That's what the demand is currently. Okay. Have you done any like other farms with the, with the grain and stuff yet? Not yet. I'm just gonna add some cheeky industrial over here. Very proud with our pre planning in this section. How's that commercial district guy that you built? <laughs> that was like a huge grid. Remember? Um, over the bridge? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a bit of a shopping hub over here. I mean, well, we I haven't just, had any demand I just, Yeah, well, because I just wanted to see how much it's filled in. Getting there? Yeah, Maybe. it's sometimes... Uh oh, what's this? Okay. Lack of labor. Well, there's residential demand. Need more people. Mm, well, maybe we need more residential over this side of the bridge. Hmm. Just don't build too close to the commercial. Like over here? Yeah, oh, we can get more land. Yeah, a lot more. You can buy a lot more. Hmm. Well, they don't want to be too close to the commercial. Should, that's kind of cool, that little, where you were, the little bit of land that sticks out. That's kind of cool. You can put them there. I think I will purchase that. It's very satisfying purchasing land. Dirt roads, anyone? Could do. Be nice. It's all the rage. Okay, so you, what is great about this area? Why don't you just connect from the existing roads? It'd be a bit easier. Because that you actually go through the commercial area yeah. to get to the town area. And the reason why is because we actually like people to be enticed. It's kind of like um, when you're in like a store and they have all like the candy at the exit, but you have to go through it all. Mm. So it's like to get out of this area, you have to go through the shopping district. You're like, oh, you know, I'll stop you. Yeah. <laughs> and then also it has the benefit of things being close by. I might have done a boo boo over here. It doesn't have to be one road, you could branch off at some point. It must be one. <laughs> That'd be so annoying, because you could are you gonna connect through the middle at all? I guess. Oh, there you go. That's good. <laughs> Bowser District, yeah. <laughs> we could So behind this district it's designed like my uh, dog Bowser would sniff, you know, he'd wind and weave his way <laughs> through to all the bushes, hence the road he'd layout. Sniff and swerve. Yeah, we do actually need some roundabouts. We need some roundabouts. Well, it's great because it slows down the traffic. It's a dirt road. How fast is the traffic going? <laughs> oh no, roundabouts on dirt roads would be really bad. <laughs> is that a road anybody would feel nauseous driving on it? They love it here. That's they love one it. of the attractions, really. That's why you come to Deliville? Yeah. <laughs> Medium old oh, row housing doesn't fit so well. You probably want to just do low density don't you? On, the, on the windy bit anyway. Well, that bit's fine. Though. Yeah, this will be okay. There we go. We might put like a park mm. or something, you know, here and here. Be nice. 
be very nice. Um, a little small plaza, perhaps, here. Oh, that, that's nice. Playground. Always a dog park. Maybe Campfire. On the mm -hmm. island area, it can just be only dog parks. <laughs> just dog park <laughs> city everywhere. Uh, what helps noise pollution in City Skylines 2? Um, I actually don't know. Can you build up terrain or um, trees or something? A forest? So, I don't know if you've unlocked it yet, but you can upgrade roads to have trees on them. Like, built into the road sort of thing. And ah. that, that helps too. I put another police here. Just want to make sure everyone's safe, you know? There was a bushfire close by, so we might put another fire station in. Ah, very nice. There's not much demand for low density housing, unfortunately, so this is kind of. You know, it's working on it, it's working on it. They're trying. They're trying. I think you need some hills to go <laughs> with the roads. Well, we could work with some terrain. There you go. Oh, we're good. <laughs> it's a yeah. canyon. You can use the smoothing terrain tool as well to make it a little bit nicer. The canyon. We call this the... I don't know. The... The... The, the Grand Delhi Canyon? Uh, the tiny canyon. There's some hills and things. It's very... It's a very beautiful landscape. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because it's funny. It's not funny. It is funny. It's serious artistry. That's beautiful. It's actually very nice. This is gonna be the new Organic Casa. Organic Casa 2. two. <laughs> <laughs> we need to put another celebrity house here. What do you, does it tell you what you have to do to unlock them? Like to, because you can only put uh, one of each. Already built. But what are the other ones? Does it say what you have to do? Um. It's the film actor mansion. Milestone one. So we also need a whole bunch of housing and. Oh, I see. You have yeah. To produce media goods. Media. So I guess that'd just be one of the productions from the industry. Well, that'll be cool when we get there. Ooh, oh. Oof. Cows just done a <laughs> dog fart. You know, dog farts always have that specific smell. It's just yeah, different. it's different. It's different. But it's weird because he doesn't. He doesn't fart that much. No, but he didn't go to toilets. Yeah, oh yeah, he didn't go. That's probably why. Let's put a bus depot here. I guess we need a connecting one, do we? Oh no, they can just go back to it. Bus depot. I think you just need the one bus depot, don't you, in the city, and then you have to do the bus. You have to do the bus stops on the bus line. Hmm. It's like Delhi Canyon. Hmm. We are happy to announce the first bus depot is here. <laughs> oh my god, Fraser! I gave him eggies this morning, so it's probably eggy fault. <laughs> Unless it's you. No, that's not me. <laughs> it's, it's definitely not me. No, it smells like a dog fart. Oh, wow. This might be a good spot to end the stream, actually. <laughs> Do we have to evacuate the room? <laughs> yeah, so we can evacuate. <laughs> oh, God, a building is on fire. Don't worry, engines have been dispatched. Well, what building's on fire? Uh, been out of it? Might be on the other side. Maybe it's already put out. Is it your chimkin farm? Oh no, not the chimkin farm. Where's my chimkin farm? It's so far away. It's okay, they're struggling a bit for workers though. I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why no one wants to work out there. <laughs> it's great! They probably have really fast internet with all the new lines. Okay, maybe we should put a house out here. Single 
Oh, actually, we can just put it here. I don't know if they're going to want to live out here. Little house. You just need one little dot. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they get. Yeah. Just I'm sure I love living there next to that giant power line, a transformer, and the chicken farm. Well, with no services it's... or shops out here. Well, that's why they have next a farm. To, actually, next to two highways and a train line as well. <laughs> that's why they have a farm and a train line. <laughs> <sighs> I wonder why they don't like it. It's actually a really great area. It's the place to be. This could be Organic Casa 3. This is shouldn't no be... Organic Casa. <laughs> you shouldn't be so quick to judge. Hmm, grain farming. Yes, I think I'll put it here. Oh, big. It is. So we like. I'm Holy addicted moly. to this game. <laughs> Connect it to the other road so you have the pipes on that. This road? Well, yeah, because that's how you power on pipes. Oh, no. Get around the other way. Uh, you're running into the farm at the start. When it goes red, that means you're running into it. Just too close. Too close. Yeah, just, <laughs> if you move the road further away, it's too close. <laughs> okay. the worst area I think we built so far. <laughs> well, you far. said this is Organic Casa 3. It's so. not. It is not Organic Casa 3. Uh, okay. <laughs> You're right. Beautiful. <laughs> flawless. Stunning. That is <laughs> the worst. Some of it add a roundabout to it. Yeah, actually, we do need a that's roundabout. A, yeah, that's a very good point. And we need a house. People want to live out here. Why do they have such a tiny house? Because it's a little farmhouse. A farmhouse. Do you like no, at the intersection? Farm? There's where they need the roundabout. Not just there. <laughs> they were enjoying the other road. You're gonna destroy their house if you put that big one there. It's it, kind of it's a, it's kind of see it's trying to update the road on the left. It's mm -hmm. like see if you just. Cut the road off from the rest of it. So go build this wall. Get rid of the left bit. Well, it's like you're underground. Oh. Yeah. Get rid of the curve. Yeah, get rid of that bit. And then just put the roundabout now, and then reconnect it. Oh, uh, okay. Because it was just trying to adjust it, and it was just kind of like. So that's a good little trick. Yeah, sometimes because I think because of the angle of the road connected to the highway, it was kind of like. Uh, yeah, it's trying to build you, upwards. I think yeah, because you got some elevation that I think. No, I'm on zero. So is there a power line in the way? Maybe get that out of the way. Might need to rebuild that. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just press B to bulldoze as well. Yeah, that was in the way. Okay. There you go. Okay, now we need to connect our power. And the pipes again as well, I think. Overlapping. But yeah, you can't go right into the roundabout, just go next to it. Yeah, there. Right over the house. <laughs> oh god, that poor house. And then the pipes is all we have to get. The pipes? Didn't they yeah. come with the roads? Yeah, but wasn't it disconnected because that road was demolished? Are they still fully connected? There might be a pipe somehow. Like, like, what's that pipe? There's a pipe going nowhere at the moment. Oh, right. The waste. And the water pipe as well. Did I just... That's... Wait, I'm confused. Where are we getting... So it goes oh, no, that's fine. Yeah, just get the water pipe. Yeah, just delete that. 
it's connected. It's just because it went a little extra. On air. Underground. Yeah, that's going to be loaded too. Oh, wait. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, now you have to connect it. <laughs> Why did it do that? I thought it would just demolish it back to the road, but that's okay. Okay. Uh. So it's there. Is that connected? Yeah. It's a bit fighty daddy looking. Yeah, but it's fine. It'll look at work. And you've got the water from the water. Okay, cool. You're good. Perfect, no flaws. <sighs> That's this. a beautiful farm. <laughs> the road. I want to see my little house. No, the problem is they're not going to want to build there because there's no services and there's nothing out here. So the the likelihood of them actually building there is very low. <sighs> so what? They need local shops or something? They need well, they need everything. They want power. Oh, not power. Sorry, police, like fire, schools. Uh, they have that over here. Yeah, but it's far away. <sighs> That's Gracious. what I'm saying. The likelihood of them wanting to live there versus the rest of the city is pretty low. Okay. And also, you don't have much residential demand, so even if you had everything, they might still not live there. It's a big ask, but I, I suppose... Oh, I forgot to buy it. I suppose we can make it work. There we go. So that's where we can begin to make some services. But I think I'll finish this stream right here, you guys. Thank you so much for joining. Um, <laughs> but I was as fast asleep and farting happily away, so we're gonna evacuate from the uh, premises. <laughs> um, maybe put the fan on. But thank you guys so much for coming to the stream. Thank you and welcome to the new members. I hope you enjoy the members videos. I'm also filming a Q&A. So if you're a new member and you have a question you wanna ask um, in the community tab, I asked you guys to ask questions in the comments so you can ask there. Katie, thanks for being a member for eight months. Um, yeah, and we'll be streaming again on Thursday, probably a similar time to today. So, yeah, get excited for that. We're going to be streaming Dreamlight Valley. Um, yeah, thank you so much to City Skylines 2 Paradox. Thank you for sponsoring this stream. And you'll be able to watch it back as well as a VOD if you want to catch the start of it. And don't forget to click the link in the description to find out more about the game. It uh, supports the channel. And yes, it. yes. Don't forget to click the City Skylines 2 pinned link on the description down below. Thanks guys so much for coming. Love you. Bye. Bye.